Hey, hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. I'm hungover. You're looking fresh. You haven't drank in, what, a week? I drank on Rogan. Oh, okay. And that Richard Jefferson episode set me the fuck back. Woo, he Cause, killed a bottle. Because I had an ulcer that I was like, I was something's wrong. I, I don't want to be the party pooper. Sure. We got an NBA player here drinking with us. You got that right. I drank both of us. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, and that next morning I was like, fuck, got the endoscopy yesterday and I was, uh, yeah, goddamn. Wow. Liz from the comedy cellar, you need someone to pick you up. It's, they, a, it's like an you- abortion. <laughs> They gotta, we gotta get you home. <laughs> I got propofol, whatever the Michael. Jackson, oh, really? They knocked me the fuck out. Whoa! And it's, you, and you have to fight not to make because they put the thing in your mouth and it's the big tube, yeah, the big circle. You have to fight not to be like, no dicks in here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I uh, I woke up like whoa, and I did three sets. You saw me. I did three sets last night because Devito's running the hour. I, I want to be there to yeah report. Very impressive. So what what does an ulcer feel like? Is it burning? Is it's it... stinging, kind of. It's just like sharp, like right really? upper abdominal. Ah, oh man, that's not silent reflux or acid reflux. It's kind of it's kind of similar. Okay, yeah, because uh, our friend Joe List has silent reflux and he gets the cobblestone throat. It, it bubbles up. Oof. Yeah, it's all gross. It's gross. I think of the guy in Dumb and Dumber. My ulcer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need my pills. <laughs> that's you know, a uh... ketchup mustard. Classic, dude. Yeah, I was, I was, I was under, man. It was, uh, I was fucking out of it. What a wild man! You're under the, you're under the gun at the at the hospital in a hospital gown, oh, yeah. propofol, Michael Jackson. Then you go do sets. Yeah, I well, you know, I had I had some coffee. I was fine. Which also, they're like chill with the coffee. I'm like, I can't wake up with that. I'm on propofol. Oh yeah, true. I gotta wake up. Bet you slept pretty good though. I was fucking out, dude. It's pretty crazy how how hard that knocks you out. You got any more? <laughs> I could I could use a nap. Oof! Hey. It, it felt good. Yeah, I bet. There's no sleep better than a pill induced. I got a crazy one for you. So did I tell you I lost my laptop? No. I left my laptop on. I went to Dallas. I left my laptop on in the seat. Uh, completely my fault it was a brain fart the tray was broken yeah i usually throw it on try to edit some shit do sure. some joke writing whatever and uh it was broken so i was like i'll just put it in here read a book put it in there totally forgot it oh terrible system yep i call i i realize once i'm in the hotel i'm like i left my fucking laptop brutal damn it i'm trying to edit jokes i'm trying to it's so much harder i'm doing the notebook which is great yeah for writing but it's a little it's annoying to like shift stuff of course but uh, I call, and the, of course, there's a million hoops to go through. They yep. keep sending it to people who are like, I don't know. Right, right. And, and then they go, it takes 14 days to get what? from the plane to Lost and Found. I was like, what? and I said, well, that's a bad system. Yeah, two you got, weeks. You got to be aware that that's bad. They're like, it's not great. That's a fortnight. I said to the woman on the phone, you, I could buy a pill that will kill a baby today. <laughs> and she was like, I don't know how that helps you. I'm like, it doesn't, but I'm trying to make a point. Yes, yes. That lost and found is a lot of work to do to catch up. Right. You probably get a gun quicker than that, too. By ten the days, way. probably. Ten days. Background check. I would, I would say probably ten, right? Give it a goog. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and you could be mentally ill and get a gun. You lose your gun. Well, you can't bring your gun to flight, I guess. But That's true. Yeah, they get that. Uh, they get that at security. You don't have a bit like this, do you? I was going to run this by you. May as well just do it on the pod. I have a joke about. So I, you know, I ran. I started this joke on the pod. It's hitting. But I go, uh, you know, guns. They're like a, a baby. You know, they're, uh, you know, they're easy to hate. But then you hold one, and you're like, <laughs> and you're like, uh, that's great. And you're like, yeah, it's kind of cool. I get it. Uh, guns like babies, both annoying on airplanes. Yeah. Uh, both. Uh, if you date someone new, you're like, uh, this could be a problem. <laughs> Both going to be in a school soon. Oh, that's great. You don't have anything like that. No, dude. no. Okay, good. I right. had a whole thing about guns are like dicks. If you whip it out, it's, <laughs> it's it scares people. You know, they're don't. Hopefully, it's not loaded. Mine saw it off. <laughs> you know, that was mine. But this is go. great. Gun jokes. Something about how they're loud. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. There's a lot here. The silencer on. The yes. Baby. Yeah. Especially on a plane. Yeah. That's good. Gun rifle. Uzi. You were just in in Boise. Yeah. That's a fucking... Bitch of a flight. Bitch of a flight. Had to go a day early. I hate the day early, you know me. Unless you have two shows, you're like, I'm going early for one show? Yes. The two-show night, you're like, all right, it's a lot to roll the dice on if I land, you know, but... Totally. One show. Brutal, but I got to say, Boise, all the way on the other side of the country, Idaho, they love comedy, they appreciate comedy, it's sold out quick. 
Um, and the crowd, the crowd was killer. So had a great time. And Boise is a cute little town. It's clean. It's quiet. It's nice. Yeah. Everyone's well, friendly there because the dudes are like 6'8". They're like big honkies. They're like Peters. They look like Paul Bunyan. Yeah, Paul. A lot of Patagonia, a lot of uh, L.L. Bean, all that shit. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, those. a lot of those cities, have like they all feel like Burlington. Or yes, exactly. The mountains are in the distance. and you, I'm at a coffee shop. I'm like, so what's the thing with Boise? Because I'm trying to get material for the for the local jokes. And I'm like, uh, give me what, what do you got here? What's the, what's the delicacy? What's the motto? Something. And they all go... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, you grew up here? They're like, lived here 40 years. I'm like, give me something about the town. They're like, well, we got scenery. We got hiking. And I'm like, go! You can, I mean, New York, it's like pizza, subway, rats, uh, Wall Street. You know, there's a Something's million things. Something's happening, for sure. Something's happening. You can say anything. Yeah, um, migrants beating up cops. I can give you something. Something, yeah. yeah. 9-11, uh, <laughs> Pizzagate, who the hell knows? But, uh, yeah, they have nothing. But there, there it is. It's a cute town. We always say, Vita and I always say, you can always tell it's a good coffee shop on the road if it's a trans barista. <laughs> they're going to make you a good latte. It's like, a, you're like, all right. That's so true, yeah. L- little cool coffee shop if there's got a, a, a trans barista always. I went to one in Boise called District. Me and Andy Haynes uh, had, had coffee there and wrote some jokes. I uh, can't believe you used to not drink coffee because it's like such a essential part of our lives, you know? It's huge, yeah. I, I can't live without it. Now when I'm hungover, the first thing, I just go right for that coffee, and I feel like it helps a hangover like 30%. We, you know, what we need is a Bodega Cat coffee. Once yes. we get Bodega Cat, like really, BodegaCat dot com, BodegaCat whiskey dot com. Oh yeah. But uh, I think like we get similar flavors, with, like a a bourbon coffee. It'd be really cool. Love it. That's a great idea, and it's not uh, illegal or whatever. This has you been know, a fucking nightmare. Yeah. We'll get it, guys. Keep. If you can get us distribution help, it's we're, we're about to dip in our own fucking pockets, and we're trying to beat Dos Oros, those cunts. We had a, we had a liquor first. We're gonna go storm the Pat McAfee show awkwardly and uh, try to push our our hooch. That's a, did they promote on Pat McAfee? Oh, they stumbled on there. It was awkward and weird. Really? Yeah, I mean it was funny. Bert took his shirt off. They had some some young uh, quarterback, like this hot, cool black guy, and he's like, "Who the fuck are you?" He was trying to hawk his energy drink. And it was a funny moment. It's so funny how famous they are in our world. Yeah. And they do arenas, but like, you know, you know, you're a quarterback, you're still like, what? Exactly. That's not my world. I know. He was like 22. He's like, who is this? What do you do? Why is this guy shirtless? He's doing push ups. <laughs> that was great. Well, it was like when Howard Stern was at a courtside game and he was mad none of the players recognize yeah. him. It's like, well, dude, it's 2024. Right. They were going to recognize you in 98. Yeah, they're like, is that Angelica Houston? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Cher? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I didn't know that meant two bears, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. All- vodka is a tougher world. It's a tougher world, it's yeah. more competitive because the that's top true. shelf vodkas are like, I mean, Goose ain't going nowhere. Cat no. One ain't going nowhere. Right? And, like, and I thought he, him and Tito's were like in cahoots, but I guess he's going against Tito's. We got to figure this out, dude. Yes, we will. We're, we're pushing it, baby. Oh, they already got more merch than us. They're killing it. God, these our guys. merch is cool, dude. We got good merch. They got cool merch. Though. It looks good. Right, they know. Stop promoting them. We need more help than yeah, they do. Yeah, They're I should have brought it up. There we go. There's Whoa. some merch. No way. Did you really make... We might be drunk shoes. What? Holy shit. Did Trump inspire you? That is hilarious. Who the fuck's wearing these? I don't know. About I mean, shoes. go buy them immediately. Sure. They're awesome. But our faces are on there. I don't know about that. Yeah, but that's, that's rough. I, would, I don't know with like a suit that could look kind of cool. That's true. I can't do a high top. I got I got sensitive ankles. I'm not a big high top guy either. I don't like the constriction. I feel it. I wear them sometimes, but I don't. Even for basketball, they used to like tell you you have to wear high tops in the '90s, and now every, oh, yeah. now all the players are wearing low tops. I know. Did you pump? No. You, you but were... I, I love that rock SNL thing. What was that? The, the Thanksgiving thing. Just pump it. You don't oh, remember I don't that? Remember that? We got to pull that. Pump Yo, is big. Hey! Holy shit! Here What's he is. shaking, fatty? What's up? Yeah, sit down. All the way from Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm running around doing pause. That's all right, man. Hey. Where, where were you before this? So Oh, all right, nice. I just did sodas. Oh, yeah. He gives you a pack of cards. What? what? I didn't get a pack of cards. What? Card? It's a new thing he does. I swear to God, like, I almost cried because I haven't gotten a pack of cards what, since I was, see? like, 13. Uh, hoops. NBA hoops. Fuck. Oh. 
I love that. What the hell? Soda, what the hell? hell? It's like flowers for men. Honestly, dude, like, yes. I had to take, I, I, I went through like a flashback of when I was 13 and shit. Because uh, when's the last time as a grown man you've like, I haven't. And so, like, the whole ritual of it and shit. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. You never did the comic book cards, did you? No, I never got uh, into that. That was more my a, speed. A little bit, like Marvel. Yeah. That was what What's I was the thinking, big really one young. to get? Like, Spider-Man rookie card? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Parker in high school? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uncle Joe? What is it? Uncle Ben. <laughs> That's like getting a coach card. The Uncle Ben yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. It says, with great power comes great responsibility. You're like, fuck this. I have a million uh, of these. They've <laughs> remade Spider-Man so many times. It's like... I know. That's why on? the Spider Verse one was kind of cool because it was like at least they went a different way for once. Well, let's take a bet. What, are there more Spider Mans or Fast and Furious? Spider Mans. Oh, I'm gonna say Furious. Oh, what, there's ten Furious. There's so many fucking Furiouses. A lot of Furious. I feel like the franchise really hit its stride when they did away with. Physics. Maybe there are more. There's when so they, many. When they did away with what? Physics. Uh, right. Because they were they were like grounded in reality. You know, they were having writer's block after number three. Right. And then they're like, okay, what if? We don't do physics. Uh, <laughs> like I always imagine they had like a physics consultant in the room and then he kept on squashing all the great ideas and they're like, you want to like stand outside? Like, I think, we'll, we'll, we'll call you when we need you. Physics are real. <laughs> Tell that to Paul Walker. Oh my God. All right. He, uh, that he is like, so weird, man. Like dying, dying that, that way. way. I know. That's like Luke Scott. That's like, uh, what's his name? Mark Hamill really getting his hand cut off. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I was in the theater. Sal Volcano used to do a thing where they would rent out uh, theater and have all their Practical Jokers fans watch a movie with them and they had mics and they would ch- trash wow. the movie. It was so cool. I was like, this is what celebrity is? Sign me up. But they invited me and when Paul Walker came on, they did like a RIP whatever and the whole audience cried. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, it was a tough moment. We are all trying to be funny on the mics and then that happened. We are like, so... Oof. What the hell? That was the Walker. shit, though. I remember the cre- they, someone did that show at the Creek, and I remember doing it. Uh, it was like a mystery science theater type thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. But that that was kind of fun doing those. Oh yeah, they brought that back. That'd be a good Patreon oh, yeah. idea for this. Ooh, that's a great idea. Talking movies. All right, what what, what do we got on Spider Man versus Fast Five? They're currently tied, ten each. Tied. Yeah. Look at that. All right. All right. Well, because there's three Tobey Maguires. There's how many Andrew Garfield, right? Three? Two. But Two? what if there's a f- uh, Furious? Yeah, but you... Th- but, but you th- it's really going to open things up. But you th- but you open... Nice. But, dude, are you counting, like, Avengers movies? Spider-Man's in those, too. And the cartoons, too. Oh, good uh, point. Uh, it's all about family. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen one Fast and the Furious. What? I remember when the first one came out. You know, Same. I was, like, uh, in high school, and then... Uh, Everyone was peeling out of the parking lot. Yeah. Like, it just juiced everyone up. They couldn't help it. Like, guys in minivans and shit were like, oh, they thought they were Vin Diesel. <laughs> That's true. Like, going over curbs and shit. Every car was just peeling out of there. Well, there's something about a movie that makes you want to do the thing. That's why I took my wife to see uh, Two Girls, One Cup. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just plant the seed. Like, yeah. they, they had fun. <laughs> Both leaving skid marks. <laughs> All right. Uh, Danica Patrick. Is that her name? No, no, that's the racer. This is the chick oh, from Fast and the Furious. Wrong, wrong race. Yeah. Was she good or just like? She was good. Da- she was. What's her name? Uh, Dakota Fanning. No. Brewster. Oh, Joanna she was, Brewster. She was hot. She's hot. So hot. Still hot, probably. Yeah. I'm kind of into that uh, Michelle Rodriguez just because I feel like she'd really fuck my face. She's wearing a wife beater in her yeah. whole, like every movie. She's wearing a wife beater. Yeah, she's hot. Oh, look at that. Yeah, good looking lady. All right. Sorry. I've never seen one of them, and I, I and I think I remember that phase, but I, I think it was more like side boob. I can't drive really, so it was, I was more like just being like ah, you know, crossing sidewalks, uh, like yeah. fuck this guy. Yeah. Right, right. That's interesting. So you don't drive at all? I I, I don't want to put someone through that. I I have a license, but I'm just too bad at it. Huh. I wonder how you intake a movie like Fast and the Furious when you don't drive. Like, right. Not a, like you can't. You can't put yourself in that character because you can't. The same way I take in The Wrestler. I'm like, I can't do that, that's but that's a good cool. Point. You have a point. But uh, have a point. Although you've got a, you know, drunken night. <laughs> you know, hey, that's the whole the whole movie's just a sad guy on the road. Is it? The Wrestler? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, I guess I relate. You're right. I guess I relate to, but I've never seen the Fast and the Furious movies. Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I know people love them. I just haven't. It's You're silly. not missing. Like, it's I think silly. me and my brother, we went and saw a late one, like a late series one, maybe like five or six, 
we were crying, dude. Like it was like we were driving home and just making our own scenario and making fun of the movie. Like it's good if you like that type of thing, but it, it was like fun to watch in that way. Yeah. Cause I think they out like the parking structure was being destroyed. It was imploding and he was able to outdrive the implosion. <laughs> like it, like a controlled demo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Vin Diesel was able to like outrun the parking garage crumbling. Yeah. And we were just laughing so hard. It's bad. And then they added Statham and The Rock are fighting. It's just gone into a whole nother strata. Of, Hobbs of, versus Shaw. That's the one. Oh, all right. There's all kinds of extra characters. We're we're off racing now. It's just like fist fights and buildings and shit. Yeah. But Good it time. started with like just racing. It started with street yeah. racing. It, was, it started fun. with pink slips, dude. Yeah. You never know what's going to turn into a franchise. That's crazy that they're like, I remember that movie. I'm like, yeah, pass. And then they're like, yeah, we're going to make nine more of these. That's Pretty crazy. Much. Yeah. It's, it's the American way, man. The demand is there. They made three Transformers. Yeah. Look, there's not more? I thought there's more. I think it's three. Hmm. I think there's more. This whole podcast, we're going to find out how many... <laughs> we're just looking up movies. <laughs> uh, yeah. Find out how many Paddingtons there are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of... Uh, there's Megan... seven Transformers? What? See? Wow. That'd be funny if the end is just about trans people. <laughs> That's what the seventh one's about. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's just called Transitions. All the same like, <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Just Elliot Page. Um, seven films. Jesus, we are cowards and won't make a new idea. We're out of creativity. They need proof. They need they existing need proof. IP. Yeah. They won't make it if it's not a lot. They don't. They're not imaginative. No. Well, we used to have a Pulp Fiction, a, a big fat Greek wedding. There was there was a uh, indie. There was people took a chance. Well, now yeah. we get things like. Uh, the last of us and you know what i mean so like it's shifted into cool like ozarks so it's in that space now we don't get those cool movies anymore like goodwill hunting and true it's gone to tv i think breaking bad kind of kicked that open by the way megan fox you know very attractive dating machine gun kelly you see that uh shirt the shirtless photo of him let me see Woo, baby he got a bunch of tattoos uh blotted out so now he's like full black you got to check it out it went viral yesterday. Let me the see. The photo. Come on, Peter. Don't fail Wait, me now. You got him blotted out. Why don't you just get him removed? Isn't that. There it is. Look at that. What the fuck? Yeah. I know. He's like a. Black Panther 4? <laughs> the hell is that? See, he wanted to get them all covered up. Wild. He's, what, uh... I don't understand why. Yeah. I don't know. He outgrew him, I guess. But now he looks like a newspaper stamp. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fucking weird. That's crazy. Man, that's quite a household over there. That feels like does it get hot? Like even with the shirt off, it's, just, <laughs> oh, it's like yeah. it's like a shirt when he doesn't want to. Right, it's like a black car. I feel like that's like irresponsible to do as a doctor. Yeah, a lot of ink. tattoo artist. You're like yeah. I can't. Or a doctor. Uh, I said doctor did that. And is it like printer ink where they're like, "Geez, man, you're <laughs> killing me. I can't afford this." <laughs> yeah. Yeah the, yeah, the tattoo artist is HP Jet Desk Jet or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's like gold. Fucking yeah. horrible. Somebody said he looks like he's out of Dune. It does look like a sci-fi character. Dune is, uh, I don't know if I had to read those books. I watched the first one. I was like, I don't really. You don't, like, you don't like Dune? People fucking love it, so I feel bad saying this even. But I thought Momoa was badass. I thought he was cool yeah. as shit. He's always fun. But there was something they pulled up. Someone was saying that they uh, there's a, a scene where he like walked up to Timothy Chalamet and he's like, you've been working out? And he's like, he's like, uh, do I look good? And he's like, no. Yeah. Nah. He's like fucking with him and they're like, and they're like, is this in the book? And everyone's like, no, it's not. They just put that in to fuck with Chalamet, I guess. Oh, I really? Know. I can't do it. I tried. It's just so slow. It's it slow. Is. It's long. In the sand. I know. Come on. Fucking. No one's laughing. There's not one smile in the whole movie. I hate yeah. to sound like that guy. How about a smile? But I'm like, come on, folks. Yeah, it wasn't my my cup of jizz, as Mark would say. There's not one. Joke and they just in keep that movie. T- they just keep turning to Zendaya. She's like, turn. I'm like, do something. Something. Yeah. What the hell's happening? Too dramatic. Give me the big vagina. Whatever that thing is they're, in the back. They're gonna kill us in the comments for this because I bet nerds are gonna be. Oh, like, this is like yeah. when we were shitting on Batman and people were like, fuck <laughs> you, dude. Really? Yeah. The new one or what? The new one. Yeah. Uh, and they were like, we love it. Yeah. Or, or Pattinson fan. I saw a fun. Uh, I, I'm a fan of him too. I just I like didn't him. love it. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't love it either. I thought it was boring. Fun meme was uh, I like Dune two. Dune two chicks at one time. <laughs> That's not my joke. I saw it. The meme on the dude. internet. Uh, I'm an old man now. Uh, there's Shrek. That dude that does look like a pocket puss or a fleshlight. It's a giant fleshlight. That earthworm. It's a fleshlight you ain't coming out of. Oh yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like that. Uh, 
that creature from Tremors. Yes. Remember with Kevin Bacon? Yeah, yeah great movie. The... Mm. And Fred Ward. Ah. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah. That's so right. Good. I believe there's a Tremors too. There might... Find out how many Tremors there are. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Tremors too. I watched it. There might, yeah, be, I there don't might know. be three. They might have done a Tremors reboot even. I feel like the, I almost have like big budget movie fatigue because now it's like all big budget movie. You know, it's like mostly yeah. big budget movie. So I'm like, I don't need to see another Marvel movie. I'm good. I'm fucking. Yeah. What? How many? Seven? Seven? God damn, there's as many Transformers as there are Tremors. Tremformers. Yeah. But... You guys see Dune? I liked it better the first time when it was called Tremors. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Dennis Miller? Yeah. Wait, wait, what did you what, what did you just say? When a lot of these big budget movies. Oh, I, yeah. I was talking to someone the other day. He goes, you know, there's a Dune like that like, explains the movie. You watch it with this person. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't need, this isn't a David Lynch movie. Or I guess the first one was, right? But like, it's not like Mulholland Drive where right. I need someone to like break down scene by scene. You see those types of movies as like an escape, don't yes. you? Yes. Also, this is the first time in history that the studio makes you watch the movie. You know, like, you you go, this is an 824? I'll watch that. Mm, that never, no uh, one went like, oh, is this Paramount? Yeah. Let's put it on. Miramax, let's fucking go. Yeah. Ah, Miramax, Miramax had a moment. They had some That's bangers. Great. Pulp yeah, Fiction, yeah. But Good Will Hunting. Yeah, they had some bangers. Yeah. But, yeah, it's the Weinstein. first time. Yeah. Weinstein. <laughs> killed it. That guy fucking rocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made some good movies. Yeah. He did. Jizz in a plant. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, first time the studio matters. Right, A twenty four is just such a brand. People are like, yeah, I'll watch it, whatever it is. Yeah, they know it. I, it bugs me when companies know they're cool. I know. Though. It's I like know. FX has that thing now where they're like fearless. And I'm like, all right, calm down. Shut it's up. just TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're fearless. I'm like, were you? I mean, w- was it like a really fucking big risk to make Fargo? <laughs> I know. Right? <laughs> fucking one of the best movies ever. <laughs> we're fearless. Fearless. You just walk the in. They're like, on. That's we know. That's, that's, <laughs> sorry. Yo, how angry are you if you're the rest of the cast that you? He just blew up all your residual money oh, because it, you got yeah. taken you know what I mean if you're Theo or Rudy Good point. or Claire you're like Theo. fuck I was making so much money That's you got a true. point you who, got a who point. else has fucked up residuals for people uh, Charlie Sheen ha- no, no that that's still, that's still on. Crazy. okay do you think Cos- the Cosby show will is it is it being run I don't know I think it is overseas it must be somewhere right we, I'm sure we could find that a great out. show like, changed the world. Sure. Changed the country. Yeah, it was it was a good show. Do you really think good. it's just a period of time and then they'll like slide it back in? Yeah, they'll slide it back in. Probably. So I almost hey. feel like um I mean I've had this thought when it comes to cancellations and stuff. I think if you're an actor or you're you're in a field that women care about, that's a, a canceling that lasts like a very, very long time. But athletes, mm-hmm. they kind of they're like, oh, All right, we're doing some action for like a week and then women don't pay attention. They're like, All right, I get get back into the league. <laughs> You know what right. I mean? Like, if you went through some of the shit that some of these athletes have done, oh, oh Miles Bridges miles beat the shit out of his, some guys in certain places. Miles you know? Bridges beat the shit out of his girlfriend, and then he was back in the league. He's playing again. Wow. Yes. But it's like, you know, but also he, there's a shorter life of an athlete, I guess, so they're like, eh. But true. also, I feel like less women watch sports and care about so there's less of this lightning rod. I think Whereas you're right. I don't want actor, that dude on my team, though. I, yeah. Like, he, you have to be like, ah, go Bridges. Ah, fuck. But a lot of guys yeah. don't care. You know, some guys are like, if he helps our team, Team, you know, I like guess. he's reformed. I don't want, I don't I think want that. Roethlisberger, dude. same thing. He got he got accused or whatever, and I think he got guilty. But he's out there. I think he probably raped. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> he's still. Co- you know what? They should let you play, but they should write probably raped on the back of your jersey <laughs> instead of Roethlisberger. Probably. <laughs> but I think you're right. Ellen got got a ton of a world of shit because that's a woman. Yes. World. Yes. But also pretending you're one thing and then like yeah, you know, your brand true. doesn't matter. When your brand is like I'm that. awesome, I'm so nice, I dance with people and then you're awful to everybody. Yeah. The, it, dishonesty. They want people to be, you know. It is pretty funny to have that brand of dancing with people and then behind the scenes being like, don't make eye contact with me. <laughs> I know. You take a coffee, throw it in an intern's <laughs> face. Just to be like, and then just like, <laughs> Don't speak to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like the uh, the Republican senator who's like, God hates fags, and he's blowing guys. Yeah, there's always yeah. that overcompensation. Whereas yeah. if you just blew guys from the jump, no one would care. Yeah, and his base would care still, probably. That's a good point. Maybe the base. <laughs> yeah, it's always the base. Yeah, but yeah, you're right about. I think people, if if they don't care about the thing, they they don't really know. It might not even hear about it. Right. Yeah, like the Lizzo, they got her on uh, fat shaming. Which right. is just classic because she's so fat and she whole thing is like body positivity. So when you call the the backup dancers fat, you're fucked. Mm. 
You can't you, go against your your brand. What are you pulling up here? Uh, Cosby's streaming on a, a black owned oh. TV channel called TV One. There you mm-hmm. go. Where you can buy it on Amazon. But I mean, it used oh. to be on everything. So. Well, you know the thing about it is, like, I was watching an episode of Mad Men on, I think it was on Amazon, and it was the blackface episode. So there was a disclaimer that came on before that said. Uh, we're not okay with this. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. It's a fucking show right. about people doing bad shit. Right. Like you don't put that before a Sopranos episode where he, where he curb stomps a gay guy. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know why you have to put this on this, before. Like, HBO supports every part of this. Like, before, <laughs> <laughs> but then, so I think about that, like, are they going to have to put a disclaimer? Like Bill Cosby was not a good man. Enjoy. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're. I mean, they do it with smoking. Even hey, the smoking in this like, isn't that ridiculous? Crazy smoking. Editing, the movie. editing out things. You know what? Why don't you watch it through a time portal? Like, think about hey, this was a different time, and that's cool. Of course, that I would be a quicker it. warning to say this was released in 1996. Yes, or, or you know things what I mean? Were different. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like milk used to be a nickel. Now it's five bucks. Things change. Yeah. But you can't be like, they charged a nickel. They stole. Right. I mean, do you have jokes that like you used to do and you think about now? And you're like, oh, I would never do that. Of, of course. course. Yeah, yeah. Many. Yeah. I know. Same. Many. I have many of those jokes where I'm like, oof. Oh, yeah. But that's also like the world changing and you changing. I mean, that's just natural. Yeah. Do you guys feel like retard is coming back? Yes. <laughs> Big I time. feel like retard's coming back. I mean, you just said it. It's exactly, back, baby. So it's so back. I felt comfortable. Yeah, know, yeah. In a safe space of saying it. I, it was gone for a bit, but I feel like people are a little emboldened. It's it's less of a third rail than and, it used to be. And no one hates retards. Like if you make a black joke, you might actually be racist. Mm. But if no one is like, get these tards out of my neighborhood, you know, no one hates them. Right. They're very pleasant people. I agree. Except when they're angry. Yeah. Very strong. <laughs> They'll flip a U-Haul. But <laughs> just saying, I think no one hates them. And there's like flame retardant. He's oh. tardy. Like if you if you dance around the word, I feel like the the mean word is actually less potent. I always thought it was funny, like from that moment where you couldn't really that point in history where you couldn't really see a retard but then libtard was okay which is just like this weird <laughs> That's a great point you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. So true. I mean, I have this joke where i'm like does it work like that you could just like lop off the first half and you could say libtard how, how come there's no ragged like a republican faggot right <laughs> you know right I mean? yeah that's a good point. Yeah. Well, we do that. We pick and choose. You know, it's like, hey, don't don't call Lena Dunham fat because that's that's her body. But if you're like, hey, Trump's fat, and look at him in that wacky baseball outfit, or Chris Christie, hilarious fat guy. Well, that was your old bit about Lena. Mark had a great bit about Lena Dunham. How women would always be like, she's beautiful, and Mark would go, oh yeah, you kind of look like her, and they'd be like, fuck you. True story. That, was, that bit's been ripped off by a lot of comments. That's true. Yeah. But you, you, he did it first. Did it first and reposted it recently just to claim. <laughs> it's great when it's like a, you can tell it's like an old set. Yeah. Like, All right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Sometimes someone will be like, "Oh, someone's doing this joke of yours," but like I already have it out in a special, so it's yeah. like, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Like I don't do it anymore, and like it's up to that comic at that point. Like. I'm not going to be fighting for this. It's up to that person whether they want to continue to do it or not. No, exactly. it's in a special, you know, right. like if I was doing it currently and it's part of my act, then you have a conversation that happens with comics. Sure. Like, yeah. Hey, we have similar blah, blah, blah. But if, if I've already canonized it, then I'm like, yeah, that's on them. That's on them. I completely agree. Yeah. And they should drop it just because they, now they seem unoriginal. Yeah. But that's that's up to them as a comedian. Sure. How they want to operate. But I mean, it's for the best to drop it because there might be another one that you didn't know about in your set. Now you got two. Now you got two. Now we got a compilation cooking. Yeah, Mm. some internet nerd will figure that out and start splicing. It's tough when when you look. We're all more prolific than the last generation because we have to be right. right? We have to keep putting out specials, uh, and it's hard. I mean, you're gonna step on people's shoes accidentally. Yeah, there's gonna be parallel thoughts. So. Even if you got a good rep, it's going to happen. Same, man. Like, I do my works on stuff show, you know? And, like, I just throw a bunch of ideas out there. And, like, sometimes someone in the comment will be like, oh, Norman has a joke like this. And I'm like, oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. It's like, you know, I love you. I love you, too. Like, I don't see all your stuff sometimes. Of course. Yeah. Of course. So I'm like, but I'm always like, thanks for the heads up. A guy did that to me I, when I was doing, like, Zoom shows during COVID. I did a bit, and I was like, Segura's got something kind of similar. I'm like, it's out. Yeah. There you I go. love that we have, like, comedy nerd fans. You know, Same. It happened to me recently with a joke in here where they're like, it's not the same joke, but this part is like kind of similar to a Tosh joke. I just dropped. I was like, I don't want yeah, to deal with it. it. You don't want to deal with it. 
Yeah, but sometimes these guys just want to get you. I had a guy. I know. He goes, uh, I did a old, it's a 2012 clip. And this guy goes, that's a Mulaney bit on YouTube. And I wrote, well, when was his bit? And he wrote 2016. And I go, well, this is 2012. And he never wrote back. Like, how about like, a, oh, shit. And I'll go right. yell at him now. Yeah. You it know, happened to me just, with an Ellen joke. And, my, and someone called me on it. And I was like, same thing. Mine came out first. And I was like, I'm sure she's not worried about it. Nah. So let's just fucking drop it. Exactly. Well, how do you guys feel? Because like you say, you have to keep on. Like we had to be a little more. It was my joke it. about scissoring women. It was, it was a big uh, top, top shelf. Like to talk about scissoring. Oh yeah. But I think yeah. like because it was Louis and stuff. Like the hour a year that was sort of our pace. Oh, yeah. when we were coming up as young comics, so that we thought that was like up. it. The hour a year. Louis saved and ruined comedy. Yes. How so? Elaborate. <laughs> because he raised the bar so high because of how great he was, and st- he's still great. I mean, but then I think when someone is that good. Every comic thinks it's attainable, and it's great that he gave us all something to shoot for, but every comic can't pull off the year, year and a half model that Louis that Louis's doing. Totally. Yeah. And there's a lot of watered down shit now. Now it's like there's like another guy's like, I got another special, and you're just like, did you do the road? Did you do the work? I think I don't think people saw the work that Louis was doing. Yes. Mm. Louis yes. was doing the fucking road. And there's no gatekeepers now, so you can just put out a YouTube special at yeah. the drop of a hat. And Which is great, though, as well. Right. It's also good. Pros and cons. But also, I think people like the glory. Hey, I'm putting a thing out. How about you retweet me? How about you talk about me? Have me on your pod. I'm putting a thing out. Uh, so it's more about the buzz than it is about the actual quality of the material. And But also, if you're a really good comic, I'm not talking about you, obviously. No, but, no. But I'm saying like... I don't fall on this, right? Because <laughs> I mean, I'm checking all the boxes. I'm like, okay, it's been a year and a half. No, we no, like no. you. I think if you're, if you're working, you're working. But I think we're talking about the people that aren't doing the work. Yes. You know? Uh, uh, but yeah, I think Louis raised, he set the bar unbelievably high as, as a great stand up will do. I mean, he kind of, I think he changed it. I mean, Carlin was kind of the past generation yep. in terms of like output, and Louis was kind of our generation's guy. Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. Well, you guys, I feel, you know, because I've been watching you from LA and stuff, you've entered, like, you guys are ascending and stuff, and you're at a point where you, you have Netflix specials and you've broken through to this like next level. Do you still feel that pressure to have the pace that you were doing it when on YouTube and kind of like on your own? Because I feel like if you wanted to, you could lay off the gas in terms of like output of specials. Not that like you're not able to. You guys are totally able to. But like, yeah, what's your thought on like the pace of specials at this point in your careers? Mm, good question. You want to take think? that? I think uh, I think you should keep the foot on the gas because I'm a, maybe a special case. If I take it off a little, I take it off a lot. So I got to go all the way or else I'm not actually working. You know, it's like going to the gym and go like, I'll lift two things and I'll leave. I feel like you got to go in and do the thing. But uh, I'm also a psycho and I think maybe you are too. Yeah. Uh, so I think keep going and don't coast. It's hard for me to coast. It's hard, very hard for me to relax. Like I, I do like the, the grind. I do like the road. Same. It does. I, it, I do feel it sometimes where I'm like, fuck, I don't. I don't look or feel good right now. I look now. at your schedules and I get anxiety. <laughs> I swear to God. I look at, you post your dates and I'm like, damn. You're not the only person to say that to us. But I also feel like that, like, the, I'm like Mark. The second I take the, the foot off the gas, I'm like, it's fine. But like, I don't, vacations don't really make me feel rested sometimes. Same, same. I'm, I'm stressed. I, I guess the first three days you kind of got to give yourself to it. And then I'm like, okay. But I like doing something i like being yes. busy i like uh and and my like i like doing something like reckless like instead of a vacation i just go ahead and get like shit faced or something and get like a story you know yeah guilty but, but i don't uh no i feel absolutely the pressure to keep the foot on the gas and uh and to keep writing and trying stuff but i not at the same level probably before like i think i the last netflix special i did that was a quick turnaround because I just wanted to get that out before I started a tour. Mm-hmm. And I wanted the tour to be all new stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think I think the tours now, like, Mark's, like, going international and stuff. I did just in Australia. I'm going to go international. It's like you want a, the tour to last a little longer. And so I think it's a slightly longer turnaround. I see. For, yes. For, for because your I'm tours thinking. are longer now. and then. You're hitting more places. Yeah, yeah. And we're weird. You're probably more sane. I, I mean, I have that same bug that you guys have, but I don't have it on the road like you do. Like this past year for to gear up for this hour, I've done more road than I have, which is like 
it pales in comparison to you guys. I would pop out like two times a month, at least two weekends a month. Oh, that's pretty good. Like eight months or whatever. So I hit a lot of like major U.S. cities. But I mean, I'm always getting up in L.A. Like those at the comedy store, those 15 minute sets around town. So I grind a lot in in spots, right? And then so I just like. Do you feel like you could like really work out at the comedy store or not? Yeah. Well, I've been there so long, where like I'm a made guy. Like, I I don't feel nerves. Like they know what I am. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when you first get past somewhere, you're just trying to crush because you want them to you want them to slot you in their mind somewhere, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Worthy of this as a killer, and just like they don't know what you are yet, and so you're on eggshells a little bit. So you're just trying to crush all the time. But I've been there so long, and they know that I'm good, and and I know where I can work on new stuff. Like, and you keep that pace as a guy who just kills, and you become a guy that doesn't write. Yeah. So you have. So you have to. True. You have to kind of not always crush. For sure. Like if you're just crushing all the time, then you're not growing. Like yeah. I, I want to try some jokes that don't work, because then that means you're like uh, stepping outside yourself a bit or swinging. Yeah. 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 So like earlier in the week in the OR, I'll try stuff. If it's a Tuesday or a Wednesday. I feel like it's a less of a high stakes type show. Mm. A Friday, Saturday, it's more of a show show. They have babysitters and shit. So I can't pull out my, like, yeah, I, want to, yeah. I feel weird doing it. I could. I'm with you. But I just feel like I got to give them a certain type of show. That OR is tough. I'll, I'll do some of my tried and true in there and get you know, It is a weird room, dude. Like, Why is it first, tough? Uh, because it's a very real room. It's a very present room. Like you could have the greatest jokes in the world. But if you if you're not present and you're not like a person and connecting with them yes. on on an energy level first, they can't even receive whatever joke. You could have the funniest jokes in the world, but if, if you don't feel like real and three dimensional, um, they turn off. It's it's they, and they sniff it out. It's weird. I don't I know, know what it, I know exactly. I don't know what, what it is about that room because there's some like hilarious people who have great jokes. But they come at it and they approach it like it's a 400-seater where, like, there's so much leeway. When there's a ton of people, yeah, you don't have to be super nuanced. You could just have razor-tight jokes. Yeah, you go up in the main room with your act and then you kill. Then you go yeah. to the OR and they're like, there's a weird wall. Yeah, it's more jazz. How many it's seats It's more, is it? like, 150, 200. Wow, maybe. yeah. Also, just... people are coming in and out of there. It's yeah. always, like, f- rotating seats. Yeah. And then you can see the fucking Sunset Boulevard out that window. So it's, yeah, it's a lot of distractions going and, on. And the there. light comes on as this blue star. Everyone yeah. knows it's the the light. I hate when co- when you can see comics in the doorway. Oh, I like it, though. I don't like that. I mean, especially I when like I'm working it. on shit. I want, to, I want to do it in the shadows. Same. You know? Yeah, yeah, but that room, you're, that's such a good point about you got to connect with him, like uh, I, Kumail. Remember that guy? Yeah. He, <laughs> he didn't remember. Sure. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was he's he's old, back in a stand-up. He's now. back, baby. He's back, baby. He's ripped. He was an old pal of mine. I never saw him bomb once in New York. Not once. Wow. And I'm, we're doing bar shows, back rooms, all kinds of horse shit, like Brooklyn stuff. Never saw him bomb, and I go, how the hell do you do that? And he goes, I always riff up front. Even if it's a bullshit riff, because it just connects us, and then I go into the material where I was going up and going, "Uber's weird," yeah. and they were like, "Who? What? Huh?" But he would go and riff and talk to a guy in the front row or make fun of the ceiling or whatever, and it always worked. For sure, that Just, confidence puts you at ease. Yes, it's not like someone because you wouldn't start a conversation like that with someone. True, you know, just something tying you to the present. Yes, as a comedian, when you open, yeah. is invaluable because then they trust that you're like a sane person who is. Uh, feeling what they're feeling and in the same situation, yeah, you know? exactly. And it is awkward for a guy to just walk up and talk. Like, it's weird. It's like you said, you wouldn't do that in a conversation. And what we're doing is a weird thing. Hey, I'm sitting here, you talking to a microphone at me, hopefully I'll laugh. That's a very strange relationship. Yeah, yes. So you have to go, hey, we're here, we're queer. Just... Yeah, especially when it's a smaller ship. Yeah. Then it's more like that. But if you're walking out to 500 people or 1,000, you could just go into it if you want to. Exactly. Like, isn't Seinfeld like that? Does he just like go out and just do Just goes thing? in, yeah. He doesn't go, well, what'd you eat today? No, no, no. Same with Louis. Louis just goes right in. Like, he's all about the writing. Yeah, I mean, if it's your crowd and- That helps. It also that level of fame. They're kind of like, he's going to be funny. Right, they trust you, know? you already. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do love that connecting. That is really, it's it's one of those things you can't describe and you can't teach it. You just got to- do it over and over and learn it i remember like just a simple you know topical riff too i remember the day michael jackson and farrah fawcett died ted alexandro went on stage and he goes what a day shack to the calves crushed <laughs> crushed because it was like to open with that 
it just showed so much confidence. Totally. He was always great at that. He would just walk on stage, and you're immediately glued to him, and he would go, uh, strawberry daiquiri, margarita, nice. Oh, look at the light beer. And you're just like, I can't take my eyes off this guy. Yeah, Ted's funny. Yeah, I like Ted. Funny guy. Hopefully he's still around. He is around. All right, he moved to Connecticut, him. I think. Oh, really? He's family, but uh, he's around. There you go, T Dog. He has some classic bits. I remember he had a. He was on like Doctor Katz back in the day. Remember oh, really? That shit? Doctor Katz, so many of the best comics. I know. I discovered like Louis and Attell on Doctor. Yeah, Katz. Hedberg, Ray Romano. But uh, yeah, Gary Shandling, Chappelle, like everyone, everybody. But I remember uh, he had a bit about like you ever ask someone how they're doing and and. Uh, and they're, and they're like, too, they're like, how are you? They're like, amazing. You have to take them down a notch. You're like, okay. <laughs> you know, they're like, you know, how you doing? Uh, great. Good. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Other- oh, no, you, you have to upgrade them, rather. Or you're like, how you doing? Good. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked great. It up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like a subtle, great observation. Yeah, he had a million of them. He had yeah. that one about, uh, he went to the butcher and he's like, oh, I'll get some, like a steak. And he goes, you want grade A beef? He's like, eh, give me the special needs beef. <laughs> not getting grade A. He has this great bit about uh, watching, uh, what is it, a young LeBron dunk on all these like white kids. And- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was Zion. It was Zion. Oh, Zion. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. How funny. What was that bit he had about connecting flights? If I have to connect in man's ass, oh, uh, I'd rather go direct. Flight, sexual preference. He goes... He goes, it's not a preference. It's like what I want. Right. You know, I, I don't want, it, like a flight, like a direct flight is my preference. Yes. He goes, but if I have to connect in man's ass, <laughs> I'm canceling the trip. That's great. He had, always had funny That's shit. That's awesome. Killer. He's a beast. Killer Killer Letterman sets. Killer, oh, like, yeah. Do you miss, like, you did late night sets, right? Yeah. I kind of miss doing them a little bit. List text- well, you guys were like the last ones carrying the torch, just doing it a ton of times. It's been a while. It's just hard for us to do it these days yeah. because I would still do it, but they're just so picky about the words. I know. What, what was your thought or uh, your like philosophy behind doing so many late nights? Like you've done how many by now? 12. So many. You? N- nine or 10 probably. I don't and know. And then you're just like, I want to keep doing them. What, what's the thought? It is a fun experience. People go, what's the point? They get no views. TV's dead. You have one clip that does better than right, that. I'm like, right. it's an experience. I go down to 30 Rock. I talk to Jimmy Fallon. I got a suit on. You know, some other Katie Holmes is there. Yeah. You know, Martha Stewart's doing blow. It's fun. You know, it's just TV. So it's really experiential. Right. At the end of the day. Yeah. And it was, I like doing it. And I just liked having like a catalog of jokes living somewhere. Mm-hmm. That too. Because uh, you're like, oh, maybe I get hit by a bus tomorrow. And I, you know, people are like, oh, he had some good late night sets. I don't yeah. know. I just liked watching them growing up. I liked Same. watching like, I discovered guys like Ronnie Shakes or like, wow. Or just random guys. I was like, oh, these guys got good jokes, you know, on, yeah. on late nights. So I, I always wanted to do them. But uh, yeah, I, I they don't. You're right. They don't move the needle. No. Ronnie Shakes died jogging. Really? Yeah. Fun fact. He had a yeah. great joke. He goes, uh, I saw a guy walk into the ocean to try to kill himself, but I knew he didn't. He wasn't going to commit because he brought a towel. <laughs> uh, right. I, but, I butchered it. He had a lot of great shit. Oh, yeah. My therapist said something after two years that brought tears to my eyes. Uh, no hablo inglés. <laughs> <laughs> He had some bangers, man. Bangers. <laughs> a lot no of those old school guys. Yeah. We, I mean, that's what I mean. Like we talk about them. I mean, I, comics like that. I loved, I loved late night sets. I remember seeing, like a tell on Conan or oh yeah, Harry oh yeah, Conan man. or, or, or Hedberg on um, Letterman. Oh, I saw. I, I he didn't he do Conan too. I think he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My mom loves those applause breaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy to see because just some in guy, the moment. Yeah, going outside the box like that. Yeah, he was so fucking good. I, I I see people trash him, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? Mitch? Uh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Who's yeah. trashing him? People say he's like corny. Is that, like, look, corny? It, what are yeah. you talking about? Oh, Brilliant. Man. I know. I agree. I love him. Wow. Well, you can't be corny if you spawn a whole generation of comics. I forgot who was saying this. Like, um, comics who have babies. Like, in terms, you know, figuratively. Like, oh, Dane yeah. had a bunch of babies. Mitch Hedberg no. had a bunch of babies. Attell had a bunch yeah. of babies. So Mitch can't be corny if he spawned like so many. Even today, you'll see some comics that are kind of Mitch influenced. Nick Cannon had a lot of babies too. Who? <laughs> Nick Cannon. <laughs> That's true. I had this joke where I'm like, do you think Nick Cannon's accountant said like, I crunch the numbers and you never have to wear a condom again? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, um, 
Most people have fuck you money. Nick Cannon has fuck you and finish inside money. Oh, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, it was okay. It was all right. Like the first part did better than the second part. By the way, he does not enjoy tweets about him. Oh, really? No, no. Yeah, he followed me because I did a tweet making fun of him once. And I was like, that was, I, I think he wished he could be like, fuck you, Jew boy. Yeah, probably. But instead he just followed me. Here's the thing, like. He's letting I, you know. There's this thing about Nick Cannon, whatever. Maybe it's corny, maybe it's not. But like. Uh, maybe it was Roy Wood Jr. was talking about it. Like what he did for comedy with Wiling Out in terms of like Putting black black up. comedians and stuff and other comedians as well, like as a factory, is pretty commendable, man. Yeah. How long has that been on? That's a good point. That's a good like, show. Mikey Day came out of there. I'm trying to think who else. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a comedy DC sweatshop. Young Fly. Yeah. yeah. To- <laughs> <laughs> they make slightly more than Apple employees. I like uh, to, uh, yeah. That'd be funny if you guys were on Wild and Out. Like, I would what, love to do Wild. No, you yeah. wouldn't. I would love to do Wild and Out. Bring me on. I'm good with really? uh, black comics. Yeah, but it's, you don't want to rap. No. Oh, you yeah. have to rap. No. Sometimes do you? Yeah. Oh. Just have a pinch rapper. Well, I'll write some. I can do a hippity to the hop, a hip hip hop. You know, I <laughs> can do work. Some whitey whitey rap. Cracker let me, let me barrel. Pee real quick. I got it. All right, he's got to pee. I might make a drink because I am wildly hungover. I'm not gonna lie. All to you right, there. keep it going, Fahim. man. Uh, I'm just going to do like a hair of the dog here. What is that? What is hair of the dog? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I've heard of it, but. That's when you uh, drink again to get over the hangover. Uh, like you start it back up. A little hair, like a Bloody Mary on, in the morning is a hair of the dog. It you, works? It works. It's because your body's going through a withdrawal. Mm. So when you when you have another sip, you're back. You're back. So are, you, feel, are you delaying the inevitable, though? or will Completely. It... Yeah, okay. It's a total... Uh, fuck you to your body you know you're like i need to solve this now so give me a drink but i could just wait it out and feel better right but i'm impatient i get it if you don't mind all right what are you doing in town i'll do one yeah i'm doing it come on yeah what brings you to the nyc pods to promote the special hey youtube youtube baby. hell yeah we love youtube I, i have an exclusive contract with youtube I don't. <laughs> I, I have a I have a first look deal with YouTube. <laughs> Everything I produce must be uploaded to YouTube at first. Well, this is what it is, baby. Who needs the, uh, well, the honestly, queefs out there? Honestly, kind of. I mean, I look to guys like you and and Sam, and that's the model now. Sort of like do it on your own, and then they'll scale it at a later time. And it's just so freeing and liberating to not even for so long man like i've been at it so like 21 years at this point it's wow. it's always like hey uh, do you like this do you like this 15 do you like this 30 blah 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 and they're just a hot chick and it's so cool to not need them anymore yes and they can't even it's not what it was and it's 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 just uh they can they can help like boost if you've got shit already going on like oh. you're already popping off it's great to do a netflix like he's already popping off it's great to scale it so it's just very um it's um, mentally freeing just to know, oh, just do my IG, do my YouTube, yes. and then take it as it comes. Right. It's like a business. You're just running a business. Oh, I'll do a little bodega and soda if you don't mind. Ooh. I can I can make it. But I got to pee too. Hold on. He's talking about his special. All right. Talk okay. to me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hold on. What's or, the yeah, yeah. Who's just like, where's it going? I'm like, oh, I'm like YouTube. Heck that's that's the thing. I'm Just keep on building it. And, and at a later time, if Netflix or whatever, it makes sense to do so and they want to, then okay. But yeah you just want most people to see it and that's kind of the youtube route right yeah i think look there's more avenues like i feel like a couple years ago it was uh netflix or youtube only yeah and now i feel like i'm doing my next one for amazon you know yeah i i think you know like nate's did great on amazon for sure have done well on amazon so i'm like i think uh as long as people have it, the ones that worry me are like HBO or, or yeah, Hulu, yeah. where I don't know if people have, I know people watch TV shows on them. I know like, look, look, I have them, but does that mean everyone in the middle of the country has? Yeah. I don't think everyone has. Everyone Hulu. has YouTube. Yes. Yes. You know? And um, especially- Everyone has Amazon Prime because they order shit. Everyone has Netflix um, because it's the biggest, you know? Right. And you already have one on Netflix, so like the Amazon one makes sense. Like then you're on multiple things. I think YouTube is just like, I just think about like, you want to reach young people and, and new people and, and young people, it's so easy to just share a link. I thought for years about how I did with Comedy Central and they're like, uh, I'd be like, all right, watch my thing at uh, 11 p.m. on Friday. And yeah. even then people yeah. were like, are you a fucking, yeah, man. are you a retard? That's what they would say. Pretty much. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back, man. <laughs> we're going to inspire people. We're going to inspire a, gener- a generation of people. 
And what, uh, like, what, what do you go for length? Like, how long? This one's going to be 58 minutes, I think. That's long. That's good. Man, it's too late to chop. Now I'm worried. You're like, holy shit. Look, I think, like, it's so weird because they look at, like, Netflix's data was, like, a lot of people bail after the first 15. But maybe they come back. I don't know. But your fans are going to want more. So it's good that. I guess. Huh. Should I? Wh- I'm probably. What's the sweet spot? That, like I don't 40. know. I'd do like 48 or 50. Hmm. My my question is: It already done? Pretty like yeah. I mean, I could make some. Le- I'm. We'll see. Here's my only thing about it is, yeah. you could say if you shave like eight, you could start the next hour with that. That's true. And it's so fucking hard to keep writing hours. I mean, I'm I'm doing what I'm doing on the road right now is I do like 55, 60 of jokes. And then I'm kind of like doing 10 to 15 of the next hour to see where it is. Cause I'm like, I kind of tell them, I'm like, look, I'm coming back to Oklahoma city. Let me come back with some good shit. You don't want to see me with the new hour that sucks. I got to start the work now. So, uh, that's, that's how I look at it. But I, I don't know, man. I, I think we'll see what Mark says. I think it's yeah. always better to start cooking on that. How much do you have for a new hour? Uh, maybe like, 15, 15 so you're in good minutes. shape already I'm all yeah, right. maybe you're fine. i mean oh, yeah. he's his new special is 58 minutes it's long wow that is long but 15 is enough to get back out there yeah yeah if you like it at 58 keep it at 58 because it's your special and it's gonna live forever right so make sure you're happy with the length and what it is sure sure sorry i just yacked did you really oh, yeah oh man <laughs> a little bit of puke is that, a, is that a first for this pod I don't know. Can't. You should, why don't you have something like sweeter than just whiskey? I can make you a cocktail. I mean, like, what do you, you want to go straight. I love our whiskey, but like, you're going to try to get back on. Like, I wish we had like a Bloody Mary for him to get back. Oh, uh, I wish. But... Do we have, I mean, can make you like a Boulevardier or some shit? Oh, hey. I mean, I don't want to push. Better? Push. That'd be great. So we got a full bar, right? Yeah. I mean, is that okay? Let's Let me... do it. All right. Now we're nice. talking. Okay, see, I puked. I think I popped a blood vessel on my ass there. <laughs> yeah. You would have no idea, man. You look great. Oh, come on. You got the best hair in comedy, uh, by the way. All right. Thanks, man. Uh, Indian number one hair, right? Well, I'm Afghan, but Indians oh, have... sorry. Come on, bro. Sorry. That's all right. Afghan. What do you guys have? That's a, that's a scarf, we, we, isn't it? Um, Afghan? It's a rug, I believe. And oh, it's a rug. And, and, How about those, uh, a hound? those Afghan hound dogs? Pull, pull one of these up. No, no. DeVito, we're, we're talking about dogs, and Anthony DeVito is telling me he grew up with Afghan do- hounds, so he hates dogs. Look at these fucking dogs. They're like the like only a, dogs, and I'm like, ugh. Sounds like a sex move. Oh, my God. I gave her the old Afghan hound. It's like Farrah Fawcett or something. <laughs> It they does. look like uh, it's like fucking, Nikki Glazer. Like an, <laughs> they look like an, like uh, Sam Elliott and fucking Roadhouse. Uh, you know what? It, it looks like Ann Coulter. <laughs> <laughs> Put a side by side of that. We got a we got a beam. Do we have sweet vermouth? Uh oh. Where is it? All right. Well, yeah. So oh, this is it. Check out the special. Is it out? Uh, February twenty eighth. So, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll be out. Wondering. Yeah. Hell yeah. Streaming baby. Check it out. Now we're talking. What's the title? House money. House money, I like. Yeah, man. Is there, uh, is there like another- the workout room is really the key to writing more. Like, the, A lot of people do the same act over and over, and they're scared of failing. So the fact that you're going out there and, and working new shit in front of a live audience and you call it working out, yeah, that's a huge, you got a huge head start over everybody. Well, that's my favorite part about stand-up. I think like comics do stand-up for different reasons. Some do it for the applause they just love crushing they just love that sound sure that adoration i love the puzzle of stand-up of like something could happen today and then you you talk about it on yes. stage and then it works like once yes. it works that feeling the best when you had nothing and now it's something yes i'm chasing that even when it's not killing but you can just sense oh there's something oh, here yeah, like, yeah this is yeah. worth exploring yes that's the so best. like i'm always chasing that so my favorite shows are my <laughs> fahim works on stuff shows of course and you know i have that piece of paper and stuff and it's annoying because i'm i'm literally i have too many ideas it's like you know i MC the show so i do 10 minutes in between acts and i do like 20 minutes at the end it's just yeah. a lot of ideas and so i need that paper to fucking uh, keep, keep to keep track of all of them i love but it's it. annoying on tiktok because some people will be like why are you holding a paper uh, like he thinks i'm playing carnegie hall and i'm holding computer paper right, right. but what's kind of cool is you get big enough where your fans defend you now 
before you just had to take shit from True. toxic people but now you have people who knight for you yeah and they're like it's called he works on stuff a lot of comics do it i love it yeah i always give that a like i love that too the fans are people getting, fighting for you are yeah pretty damn sophisticated i know comedy knowledge yeah they're saying terms like that's a good tag or a nice callback yeah how do you know about callbacks i think that's why i'm able to even put a show like that online is yes people are savvy enough to know totally comics literally don't just walk off the street and be like oh this happened today well like yeah it's a process it's an art you know well you ever uh did you see when tmz pulled up some new shane gillis stuff and the, oh, oh they tried to bury him yeah it was so sad and the that whole was internet was like bigger fan now never heard yeah. this hilarious I, I like him even more thanks to this post it was crazy where do you think that came from it just seemed like such a last ditch effort to I like know. destroy him he's on the show leave it alone yeah. it's happening but yeah, what? I think somebody dug it up and sent it to TMZ. And what? they go, we unearthed it. Yeah. <laughs> Love the unearthed. <laughs> Resurfaced <laughs> like it's a fucking body on the on the ocean. But. It's so, uh, they're shameless. It's weird that they were the ones who tell who tell us when someone died. TMZ. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. you find out someone you like, like a celebrity you like died because like TM, they were the ones who broke Kobe. Whoa! It's so fucking gross that that's that's how they make their I know their bank. I mean, who has someone sued them yet? It's funny because remember when Hulk Hogan just destroyed Gawker? I feel yes. like Gawker oh, yeah. was TMZ before. Yes, it, uh, yes. was it? It's Ish. True. They weren't doing, but they were doing those like kind of yes, yes, tasteless yes. articles, right? And Peter Thiel basically bankrolled Hogan to just destroy because yeah, they because they shit on him. They outed him as a gay man, but he's not gay, is he? Oh, I thought he was gay. Is he? He comes after you now. Uh oh. Sorry, Pete. Don't hurt me. Get give give Peter Thiel gay a, a goog. Oh, that's a good looking bull. Oh, that's a small one. I was using this. That's fine. All right, you're That'll on be your sweet. own. That'll be sweeter with the. Uh, and I'd be joining you, but I get you big big, big fat ulcer in, in me. Yeah. I'm trying to be good for like at least another week. Yeah. Who is gay? Okay, my bad. Sorry, dude. Yeah, that's why I didn't think, because uh, I know he's pretty pretty far right. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. What does he own? He was early on with Elon Apple? at PayPal. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, gay pal. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> hey, one sip, I'm back. I told you. That, oh, that's I was good. Like, when you drink it, I'm like, if you... Have a you can have like a whiskey soda second, but you want to start with something a little sweeter. I you're think, right, right, you're right. Goes down easy. I've seen a hungover man before in my life. I've been one. So uh Kevin Clancy just texted me while I was whizzing. Yeah. Sam Tentley went long. Sam's gonna be a little late. Oh, okay. So let's we got more That's fine. More on war. Nice. Afghan baby. Those Afghan hounds, dude. Those are fucking they're bad dogs. Gorgeous dogs. Uh, <laughs> well, the people they're like they're like combing their hair and shit. I mean, that's fucking that is creepy. That's weird. It's so different than other dogs. You know I know. I mean? like, that like, one. That one was in poison. <laughs> 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 fucking weird looking dog. Oh, that is weird. It's like a uh, fucking Iggy Pop. <laughs> it's yeah, beautiful. Not. Beautiful hair. We should use that on people. Everybody's getting a hair know. transplant now. Just yeah. the Afghan hound plugs. Yeah. Just, just like a mullet. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, everybody's getting the transplant. And it's all from Turkey. What? Yeah, what the hell? That's just not. That, those are just. And they, come on, they're shedding everywhere. Those yeah. are fucking disgusting. It's a big mop. Yeah. Literally what that is. They look they're like, the, and their uh, legs look the like a bullfighter's. Yeah, you know? that's true. That feels like appropriation. What, oh. if they, what if they get yelled at by like a wolf person? <laughs> yeah. You fucking dog. My hairstyle isn't a choice for you. James yeah. Franco and Spring Breakers. Ha. First A24 film, by the way. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that one's got some dreads. Look at that. Too much hair. Do we have any, uh, any clips, any TikTok stuff you pulled? Ooh. Oh, this is... I hate this motherfucker. Who's Look this? At this? I this is the one I saw. Have you seen this shit? Was he donuts? He's smushing. It's like eighteen donuts. He's gonna okay. eat it. Oh my god! Whoa! All right, that's six. It's like the saddest shit. What people do for likes? Do they just die immediately after eating it? <laughs> Hopefully, like they just clutch their heart and it and the TikTok logo comes up like. <laughs> 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 Look at this shit. 
I don't know what, what what's the big deal. I don't know why this is impressive. Well, he's doing calories. like well, he's doing like what five. The other guy was doing like that's true. That's look at impressive. that shit. Wow, that could feed a village, just the sugar and the calories alone. I mean, it's kind of like what pancakes are. I always think about pancakes. It's always way too much, man. How did always. that? How did that become the norm? Three or four stacks of pancakes. Are people crushing that? One of those is fine. One right. pan- Whenever I'm on the road with my crew, they always insist on it for the table. And, you know, people take their pancakes differently. Some people want it drenched in butter and syrup. Yep. I don't want too much. I like a, just like a, a hint. Yeah, yeah. People. I go waffle because you can break it up easier mm. quarterly. And you want a lot of syrup? You go nuts on your little square, your little triangle. Yeah. And I like that there's little pockets for your syrup. It's, syrup uh, traps. Yeah. Edberg. Oh, syrup trap. Yeah. Damn. He's like, uh, what does he say? Pancakes are like something. What does he say? By the end, you're fucking sick of them. Oh, it's like your relatives. It starts out fun, and then by the you know, Ooh, that's by perfect. the end, you're fucking sick of them. Something like that. But it's uh, yeah, I, this is like a phase now. People just you'll see a guy. There's another guy. I don't know what his name is, but he'll just eat like literally like ten thousand calories in one seat, and and it's like, so you're just showing us how much you could. I don't know. There's we'll eat like. 10 burgers or yeah. something. Why is that? Not, you know, we all hate rich people. Everybody's like, fuck billionaires. But eating food like that is selfish and gluttonous as well. And there's starving people. That's true. I don't know why. I guess because you can't make fun of fat people. Some of them aren't fat. That's true. I mean, that guy, that guy wasn't fat. But, like, that could save a guy's life who's starving. Yeah, and all that food. Darfur, yeah. At, at least it's unhealthy shit. No one's like, we need more donuts in Darfur. <laughs> no. That's true. Where's the Entenmann's? <laughs> Krispy Kreme dropping a parachute in boxes. There it is. Waffles like a pancake with syrup trap. All right, not his best tweet. <laughs> you have to start the show strong. You have to end the show strong. There are two key elements. You can't be like pancakes. You're happy at first, but then, you're, okay, it wasn't relatives. I pulled But that, that relatives out. works, too. No, that was the, uh, I think that was the Benjamin Franklin quote where he's like, uh, a visitor is like a fish. Fine at first, and by day three, like, ugh. Oh, really? I'm, I'm paraphrasing He's again. Bars. Franklin was good. Mark Twain. Killer tweets. Banger. Killer. He would have crushed on Twitter. Or X. X. What, any other TikToks? What else we got? Trevor Wallace had a good uh, 824 sketch. Oh, yeah? His sketches are great. I like hey, Trevor. They're really He's clever. fucking, yeah, he kills good. it. He's a, he's a good Instagram follow. My first day in India. Oh, there's a whole there's man. a whole sub sub genre on TikTok, which is just making fun of Indian street vendors and like how they prepare food. Oh, what what, what was that? He was cutting a bag of them with his toenails. Oh, all right, no gloves, urine. Yikes! Oh, at least he got the mask on. <laughs> what is this? I don't know what's going on. Matt, where'd you find this shit? This is India. flies and shit on it? Oh. Yikes. It's a dead body underneath. What do you think the rating is for that record? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you they're healthier than us in the in the end of the day, too. Yeah. We're the, we're the least healthy nation. Isn't that wild? Is that because everything we eat has fucking chemicals? Or yep, is? yep. And we don't work out. And yeah. But that bad. has, like, organic toenails in it. You know? <laughs> like, unprocessed. That's a good point. What else? What else? Do you have that was fucking gross. Yeah, that one I'm upset about. What's no, that? what do you got here? Is this one of those eating guys? What the fuck is that? Is that a hamburger? Oh my god! Uh, that's a bun. What the hell is that? Oh, look at this guy. He's got the panis. He's got a fu- he's got a fupa. That's quite a foop. What the hell was he doing? And what was he eating? Or about? To, he didn't even eat it. I could do this. Yeah. I can just stab something and dance. Also, make us sad. Tell us how many views it has. I know, right? Like millions? Yeah, millions. Yeah, that's why it makes some money off of TikTok. Jesus yeah. Christ. What the fuck? That's his job? That just sounds funny to say. <laughs> yeah. Look at this video and say, that's his job. Well, uh, DJ Khaled's doing great. <laughs> Honey, I have to go work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to go to work. That's, need... that's it? You got any others? Another one. What are you guys going to buy the Donald Trump shoes? Uh, Too expensive. How much are 400? they? 400? No, I think they're they're selling on eBay for like ten grand. But he but that's like his ticket master. He's not seeing that shit. I know. He just saw the four hundred. That's, that's still true. pretty good. 
400's yeah. good. But I mean, the novelty of them is pretty hilarious. Like, you know, oh, yeah. they're going to be hard to get. They are. He's uh, he's quick. He's he's like, well, how how much am I? How much do I owe? Three hundred and fifty five million. Uh, cologne. Yeah. Sneakers. <laughs> uh, what else was he selling? It was like all kinds of shit. He's gonna be selling mixtapes soon. Hey, we're not. We can't really judge. We sell underwear with our faces on it, and yeah, yeah we got those go. too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about this for a shoe name? High ballers. Hey, not bad. Because you're baller. Yeah, and it's balling, a drink. And it's a drink. All right, that's not, an idea. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, <laughs> gay, gay pal. What else? Oh, you doing another one? Yeah. Who's this guy? My biggest video of 2022. Who's buying this? Okay, we got 7 Eleven hot dog. <laughs> ah, Jesus. I will say the 7 Eleven big bite. Underrated. What's not, a not, bite? not a bad hot dog. Oh, the really? The thing he was saying that nobody eats, if you're in a pinch and yeah. you haven't planned your day very well, like LA and stuff is not like New York where there's a great pizza place on every corner. Right. There's, there's not a lot of grab and eat places. And if, the hot dog's not bad at 7 Eleven, the big bite. Okay. I don't work for them, okay? I respect Just, that. Thank you. These are the two corners there. You got the, the, the fitness guy who's like, look at this shit. And then you got the, the overweight guy who's like, that's that's my life. Yeah. That's about right, yeah. It's I mean, this is in the middle. And yeah. I, I'm in the middle. I'm impartial. And I'm just letting you know that uh, it's worth a shot sometime. Try it. Wow, a buck each? I mean, that's a steal. Yeah. You know who else had a decent... The meatballs at Ikea were solid. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have and ever actually, had that. Actually, the hot dogs at Costco are pretty good. Oh. And uh, the pizza at Costco. Is it really? Have you seen the machine make the pizza? No. Pull it up. Pull up the video. It's entrancing, um, just like Costco pizza being made. Damn, it's not horrible. The hot dogs were the kind of the the draw, though. I like because it, it's a dollar fifty for a hot dog and a soda. Where and they, at Costco? Okay, and they've kept that price for so long. I love it. Yeah, I love when people don't budge. Like totally. Yeah. It, I love back in the day when you could get a, a can of soda for like just a dollar. Yes, on the, uh, and now that everyone went like one twenty five. I know. Now we're, we're not gonna break, break a dollar. Isn't it mesmerizing? Oh, uh, it's robots. Uh oh! But then, like when they dispense the pizza sauce, Ooh. that's the real magic. Look at that! Here we go! Oh, here we go! Viral like fashion. Yeah, I hope so. All right, still needed some humans here. Yeah, AI hasn't taken completely over yet. Here we go! Oh, here we go, baby! Oh, Ooh. oh, this is nice. Uh, that's wow. very satisfying. That is. No Italian can do this. I know. <laughs> wow. That gives you more time to hit your wife. Hey, guineas. <laughs> Save some time. A couple backhands back to the cheese. <laughs> we, uh, we, Mateo and I made pizza at a couple places in the kitchen, and uh, the good places usually put the cheese on before the sauce. Of Is that right? Really? A lot of the good places that, that we went to. But that was Chicago. And New York. Oh, really? We went Jeez to Arturo's in the, in the village. Great pizza <laughs> spot. Oh, yeah. I Austin. love that spot. All right, yeah. what's the best pizza, would you say, in New York? Here we go. Well, I, I don't leave my neighborhood, really, so I'm, I'm bad. I mean, like, people, it's, like, now become hip on social media to shit on, on Joe's. Oh, I love Joe's. I love Joe's, too. Wait, that's cool now to shit on people Joe's? People are doing people. You can pull it up. Find people shitting on Joe's. People are... Uh, it's, just, it's just fashionable to shit on great yeah. things. Yeah. They always go after the best, you know? But uh, I love Arturo's because of the vibe, too. Like, the vibe is like a piano bar. I went there with Mateo. He hops on the piano and starts singing. You're like, this is fucking amazing. Wow. Uh, he's singing Fly Me to the Moon. Oh, that's and great. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's killer, man. And Thanks. then and the, vi and the people are cool, and uh, they make a great cocktail. I love a pizza place that you can get, like, a good-ass. That's true. Add in there, yeah. too, or Negroni. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a vibe. I love it. John's Pizzeria on John's is, damn is good. pretty damn. We've been there before. We went there. Together. Pies only. Uh, no, pies only. You get a good place, though. So. That's if, true. If you make a night of it. Um, I mean, look, let's be real. New Haven's got the best pizza. New Haven's fucking great. Connecticut, it. they cracked it. I mean, that, those coal. Although Arturo's is coal oven, too. Uh huh. I'll tell you, Long Island has great pizza. They do. Because all the Brooklynites moved to Long Island eventually yeah. and they got kind of pushed out. So that was everywhere, everywhere is good pizza now, dude. I know. Like even LA's got some spots now. Totally, but it's got to be thin crust. Thin crust. I, I don't like. I'll yeah, do I the deep know. dish, but is he shitting on it? This guy. I don't know. He's let's let's is see his Joe's review. Pizza a tourist trap? Uh well, they they the volume there is out of control. They put out so many slices. My favorite foods are 
Late night for a while, they were slipping, but I think they got it back. Also, the fact that like you go to like another pizza place in that area, you're waiting in line for 20 minutes. Late hey, night. Hey, Yo, here we pizza. Go. Here we go. Get in here. It's never too late to level up your grooming game and keep that bush in check. Manscaped's new Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra keeps you looking and feeling amazing. The trimmer has two skin-safe blade heads. Take as much off the top as you want. And the new foil blade makes things silky smooth. It's even, it's even waterproof. So shape up in the shower. I use this. Look at my hair. It matches the drapes, obviously. Got a big pubic bush. It's not great, but I keep it in check. And I don't feel guilty when a lady goes down there because I use this shit. So use it. If you want the full grooming experience, pick up the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0. It's got everything you need. Plus, Manscaped is even throwing in two free gifts. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK at manscaped.com that's code drunk at manscaped.com embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer courtesy of manscaped hey. oh, sorry. oh you're good, good. we're hanging out how are you what's up sammy how's it going sam, how are you? Nice sam you. nice to meet you man you know fahim like yeah. yeah all right just checking hey, sit everybody. down welcome welcome you want a cocktail Damn. sam's on the shakers yeah i'll, I'll drink something. something can we get another another glass and maybe some tongs too yeah oh. Maybe, Maybe like a hot towel and a power washer would be good. <laughs> I am drenched, dude. Are you? Well, yeah, yeah. I'm coming from Barstool. I'm so sorry. I value right. your time. I, uh... We got an Afghan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, taking we're, my we're job. Ta we're looking at pizza videos. I know what that is. <laughs> but <laughs> have you had Joe's is the question. No, no. <laughs> I have not had Joe's. Uh, I don't know how to navigate this city. I don't know where to eat food in this city. What? Yeah. I come here once a year, I kiss the ring of show business, and then I leave back to the woods. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good to have you. What are you doing tonight? You got spots? Uh, liver spots. No, I don't have I don't have any spots tonight because I have to do two more podcasts after this. Oh, my and Lord. And I kind of want to see my friends who I've loved for well, years what, and years. What do you got after this? I've got uh, Gianmarco Sorensi's. Okay. Yeah. That's a kingmaker. And then uh, I'm doing Ari's like travel show. As oh, well. good yeah. luck with that. I think I was bothering you on the phone. I'm sorry. That was the 303 number. Well, you guys both have YouTube specials. Oh, yeah, man. You're just doing so great, man. Congrats on the Thank special. You. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm following the money, and it's free on on YouTube. I mean, mine too. This is the second free one I'm doing, but I think yeah. that's the model now, man. Just like build it on your own and then you'll sell more tickets and shit and then eventually when a streamer wants to come along then okay but if not this is great yeah it's, it's just a commercial for your act yeah bingo yeah yeah it's just a digital flyer pretty much there yeah are you chopping it up and stuff too they want me to they they really want me to chop yeah, chop chop, chop it. this it. uh these manager characters <laughs> yeah chop, chop you know you know the it. character Jews. old t-dog little turn oh, little turnaround turn yeah cute He's like, I think that I figured out a digital initiative that would be best for the rollout. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, who, how much do I have to pay the guy who's going to tell me to make clips? Exactly. Yeah. LA speak. Uh, these oh, these they always dogs. Tell you that shit that's been around. They're like, have you heard of fucking reels? I'm yeah. Like, yeah, yes. dude. I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you know TikTok? Yes. Yeah. No we know it. We're going to get what? you on Sirius XM. <laughs> have you heard of Byron Allen? <laughs> <laughs> Are you unleashed? I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't mean Mark's that. the only one of us, I believe, to go on comedy. You guys unleashed. haven't done I haven't least? done it. No. Oh, I pissed off Byron. Mark, he chewed me. Why? That was fucking, the Wait, picture why? alone was epic. Well, first off, we I met him at the urinal. And okay. I was like, hey, what's shaking? Huh? It, it He's like this. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, you got to prepare everything. Everything is you give him the jokes. So you go like, here's my joke on dogs. Here's my joke on tables. Here's my joke on barbecues. Yeah. And I totally wanted to fuck with him a little because he goes, so, Mark, I heard you have a dog. And I go, what are you talking about? <laughs> goes, you know, your dog you have? And I was like, I don't know what you mean. And uh, we had a good time. He hated it. Oh, the picture. There's a picture of the whole group and Mark's doing this. Oh, yeah. He yelled at me during the commercial break. He's like, what are you doing? You're killing the flow. The momentum. Stop trying to be funny. He is a, a very wealthy man. He's oh, incredibly wealthy. He owns the weather. Yeah. He doesn't even. That's your thing. That was our thing. Yeah. He won't even do the thing anymore where it's like, oh, I heard that you were at the carnival recently. He pretty much just goes, your turn. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. He's All right. Now, now you tell the joke. He's yeah. going to set you up in a yes. uh, yeah. funky well, manner. Remember back in the day, Bob and Tom, you ever do that? Oh, yeah. Oh. I just did it. Hated me. Oh yeah, they're still going. Yeah, dude. Wow. Well, Isn't one wow. of them one of them gone? They want yeah. you to do material, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did a joke on there about getting jerked off in a town car, and they stopped it, and they go, 
we could get we get fined in 150 markets for that. That's a 1.5 million dollar fine. I was like, I feel like that's not going to happen. But they like <laughs> yeah. ended the end. They were furious, and I was Jesus. like, Jesus, the fuck is going on? Did you do it when it actually moved the it needle? It did help. It helped you. Yeah, guys? It didn't help me because. They ended the interview. So, yeah, uh, but not if you, fun. If you got some material on there, it would you'd sell like ten more tickets. Yeah, I did it in November. I think it helped uh, pack out Cincinnati Thursday. Hell yeah! Uh, thank you very much. That's a great club, by the way. I love it, dude. Yeah, the inmates run the asylum over there. Oh yeah, go bananas. bananas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. old school. Uh, real, get a real boom in there, booming laughter. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, one of the last... special there because it's you, so. You did it there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Man. Where, that's where again? Cool... Go Bananas Comedy Bananas. Club. In what, what city? Oh, it's Ohio. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's you're killing in like the first six seconds. Yeah, you were special. very nice to me on this this podcast. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, nowhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only here. No, you spit on me last time I saw you. Did you? We did kill yeah. Tony together. He was I was in the eye though. So I was, was at a blackout. I want to apologize for my performance. You did great. You oh, I had nothing. Yeah, I think I put my head on your shoulder at one point. Yeah, because you do the protect our parks, and you're just like, yeah, you're cockeyed and strange. Yeah, Ari got naked. It was yeah. it was a wild night. <laughs> uh huh. You you kept the show on the rails. Hey man, I'm a company man. Yeah, <laughs> I do the job. Oh yeah. Bob and Tom has a guy named Ace now. He's just a black guy, and all he says is damn. <laughs> and he could just be a button but no he's in there collecting a check i'd be like ace what do you think about that and he's like that's foolish fucking di i want i want that know. button i want that button on this pod yeah. damn, damn. <laughs> that's actually more than salakis does when he's here <laughs> yeah we yeah. we should get some buttons i'm like oh god <laughs> just revert Machine back gun. to radio yeah, yeah exactly yeah where it's all going <clears throat> traffic traffic when i got mattress in lanes uh i i ate clogged it's coming back. You know what else the, the radio always did? They kept telling you the time. Remember that? Hey, it's oh, 15 yeah, past yeah. the hour, and you're like, I got a clock. Right. Why do you have to keep telling me the time? There was a phone number you could call and get the time and temperature back in the day. Yeah, that's really? right. Yeah. What was the uh, number? Do you remember? Uh, no. Uh. I knew I had a watch. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I never need to avail myself of their services. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was kind of good. You know, you hit that, you're like, let me hit the traffic back before GPS. Right. We yeah. just look out the window, and you'd be like, he's got a jacket on. That's true. You go by other people. You yeah, just exactly. rip them off. But then, uh, you know, but then there's always a psycho out there in a fucking in shorts. Oh, yeah. In March in New York City. And you're like, that's true. He throws off this everything. guy ruined my fucking plan. Yeah. My dad had a thermometer on the wall back in the day. Mm. Now I sound like I, I grew up on oh, a farm. Yeah, I remember yeah. that shit. I totally forgot about that. It'd literally be like, oh, yeah. about 80. And he'd say <laughs> Celsius and Fahrenheit. It was wacky. He yes. was at a landline. So, where are you based out of normally? Denver? No, La Junta, Colorado, the Colorado. southeastern corner of Colorado. Quit oh. bragging. Yeah, I know. Dude. <laughs> so, we how far? Sonic, you can walk to it. Whoa, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Sin City. Is it hard to do the road out of out of that? Uh, what's that airport? Uh, I I drive up to Denver, and you can usually. Fly That's a direct. fucking bad airport, though. Oh, I think it's a great airport. I really? Like yeah, it. I love yeah. that airport. That's like one of it. my least favorite airports. Oh, why? Why does it suck it? so much? It's a mess. The, you the tram. security is a the, the <laughs> security is a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. security's really bad. Always packed. But the trick to Denver security, listener, is you just go through the premier access lane and they never check. Oh. All right. The one that the people who work there go through, you just walk right through there. Because now there's like this whole serpentine snake of clear people and yeah. say free people. It's like almost as long as the regular line. That's We're gonna right. have to. We have to keep giving up more freedoms. I know. Because we've given them the iris. We've given them the fingerprint. Yeah. Good I point. I mean, the next is going to, you're going to have to do something with your dick. I don't know. You have to <laughs> dip it in a machine. I don't know. Yeah. I might <laughs> have the machine in the house. <laughs> you know? I don't know what's next. Are you going to have to give up more freedom, right? Yeah, I guess so. Jeez, they really got us. Then then there's always that new thing. Hey, did you get the citizen? Right. Global? Right. Right. I thought pre was it. And then they're like, no, nah, now it's clear. Now it's global entry. Now yeah. it's like, what's the next one? Well, global entry is for, for international shit. Right. Yeah, Are you, you pre? Are you pre? Guys I'm pre and clear. Everything, yeah. So what's yeah. the difference? Like, uh, Is clear better than pre? Or clear no? gets you through the line. Pre, keep your laptop in your bag and don't take your shoes off. Yeah. So it's a good combo. Oh, so it's nice to have both? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, and sometimes you'll get to an airport and they won't have clear, but they'll have pre. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you're, you know, you're covered either way. Pre-Fontaine. Yeah, yeah exactly. Pre-com. <laughs> what's the, yeah, the, I mean, everything... That and Orlando are my Orlando's number one least favorite area Duh. because you're dealing with it's all kids. All kids. When they say kids board first, it's fucking ninety five percent of the plane. Yep. And it's a shitload of old people. Yep. It's a bad combo. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, uh, what else is bad? Chicago can be a cunt. Can be tough. Yeah. Are you guys Delta? 
Yes. Delta. You got to stick with Delta. Yeah. Well, United out of Denver. It's the hub. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, I'm envious of you guys over here. You got to go Delta. United's fine. United had a bad stretch when they had that, like, the dragon of the Asian man. Oh, yes. And yeah. And killing and killing the dog in the overhead. Yeah. That was a bad PR they combo. They back. That guy I couldn't have lunch. That. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Well, now Alaska's got the door missing. Yeah. Oh, I, I have a theory. I have an idea. Fat people get two seats on a plane on certain flights. Mm -hmm. Use the fat guy to clog it. Clog the door. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, they, would, I would gladly step up. Yeah, I, would, I didn't I would want be to in say the it. Exit row. Yeah, you the, tr the trick is right. to go back first, <laughs> yeah. so, you're, so you can still face in. Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, you know what they offered people on that flight? Fifteen hundred dollars each. Well, you got to give more for, is that right? uh, for a door coming yeah. off. That's wow. a maybe you're dead scenario. Yeah. Completely. That's the final destination shit. Right. That's that's more than fifteen hundred. Yeah. They just want you to agree to it right away without thinking. They're like fifteen hundred dollars. All right. That suit itself, you could get a bunch of money. <laughs> that's true. That's so much money. And we'll give you an O ball pat ten dollars off. Yeah. There's always some <laughs> bullshit like yeah. that. Yeah. Not Chipotle, you can get Moe's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other, the other yeah. Mexican place. You can get a Quiznos, yeah. six inch. Not Subway. <laughs> Moe's. Yeah, no, they... Uh, I didn't know you knew about Moe's. Of course, yeah. It changes everything. I'm, I'm a road comic, too. Yeah. I remember Orlando Airport. Remember you handed me... <laughs> we were opening for Schumer years ago. Yeah. In some arena there, mm. and we got fucking oh. housed. Bad, and bad. I was puking in the... <laughs> I was airport. puking in the airport bathroom, and Mark just... I just see a hand lifted over. It's a ginger ale for me that oh, he grabbed. Oh, yeah, that's well, a good, good buddy move. Yeah. yeah. You, you guys go in the lounge, right? You yeah. better believe it. Yeah. And then you have your buddy who's like outside, you know, <laughs> knocking at the door, can't get in. Yeah. You get a coffee cup, you go to the bar, you get four shots of Hennessy in there, Ooh. walk out with it, uh, here you go. Yo, well, you're nice full of life hacks, dude. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that. I've had, the, I've had the opener, like, you bring him out an egg sandwich or something. Yeah, yeah I've done that. Up. Yeah. I do that with my wife. I feel like when you get older, the, the airport lounge is the new nightclub. Like, I give way more 100%. of a shit about the lounge than, like, a nightclub. You know oh, yeah. Yeah. Even if I have like six minutes before I board, I go in the lounge just to like cleanse. I go when I land. I I'll do hit too. That lounge. Wait, yeah. they let you in you, oh, yeah. Yeah. on arrival. You can do uh -huh. that. Oh, oh yeah, I'll tell the world because yeah, yeah. I get a coffee when I land, then I get <laughs> sure. a couple Wait, cookies I thought, and I hit the road. I thought you have to show your ticket. <laughs> you, you do. do. You, you have a boarding have. pass for that day. That day boarding pass is all you need. Oh, they don't so, like yeah. it. Oh shit, I didn't know you could do. This is like yeah. a game changer. Man. Oh yeah, thanks yeah, a lot, talent. Yeah, open the. Camp. Trying to fit in with my New York pal. Cut it. I'm Babe Pig in the city over here, rubing around. I had a literal. I'm walking here today. Oh, from me. Yeah, you know those like how they have like the Chinese guys like uh, crawl out of that like hole in the sidewalk when the they're mind. down in the yeah yeah a guy popped up and I almost fell in the hole and I was like I'm walking here <laughs> don't get me started on the jute tunnels hey <laughs> it's good real estate <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> look that but you know that's an improvised line by Dustin Hoffman the I'm walking here in Midnight no Cowboy way. that was improv wow one of the Rizzo. most one of the most iconic lines ever I'm Damn. walking here great yeah. fucking movie great movie those wow. UCB classes paid off <laughs> oh wow <laughs> UCB man, remember when they used to Yo, do? We used to do stand up. Well, there. they used to yeah. all the everything, time. man. That was like oh, the yeah. hottest thing. I heard clowning is really big now. Like in, in L.A. Oh yeah, that's the hip thing. Yeah, really? what does that, what does that yeah. mean? Like uh, like Krusty the Clown? No, nah, it's I like wish. physicality. It's like communicating a lot without it's even like words. Like French bouffon. Oh, oh like cool. baskets. Yeah, Marcel Marceau. Like that's what UCB used to be. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Pull it up. What is clowning? An old art form got a new paint job in the L.A. comedy scene. Well, these guys seem really. <laughs> fun to hang out with. <laughs> oh, she's uh, got a hat instead of a personality. <laughs> Give me my shoe. Woo, baby. Anthony DeVito's got a great joke about... Uh, that guy, that Chad guy. Uh, that about how his ex started hook cheating on him with his best friend, and it's like, it worked out for them, though. You know, they got, they got married, they have kids together, and he goes, and it worked out for me. They both uh, teach improv. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Right. Yes, no. But he's, it is he's like, very good. Oh, he's funny lovely. guy. Yeah. Really funny. My, my buddy. Yeah. yeah. Clowning. Oof. I'd actually prefer like a bozo. That'd yeah. be more fun, I think, to hang out with. The a... paint? Yeah. I'd prefer Pennywise than hanging out with these guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, eat my head. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, the comedy scene's in a weird place. It's great because comedy's so huge. Everybody's selling tickets. It's great. YouTube specials. But then it's also like when everything, something comes between comes mainstream it also gets a lot of more shit in it oh yeah like it's so many... boutique too you can find the exact kind of comedy that you want to see 
You don't have to like just watch whatever's on Conan that night. You right. Know? Yeah. Right. You remember growing up, you just watch like whatever came on next on the channel. Of course. And you'd oh, be like, yeah. I don't want to watch Yes, Dear. Yeah. But you did. Well, Netflix has an option now to be like, just put something on for me. You pick. And I'm like, whoa, we're back on TV. We've mm-hmm. gone all yeah. the way around to TV again. I remember knowing a lot about Charles in Charge as like a six year old. Oh, it was yeah. on after uh, yeah. Rescue Rangers. And I was like, well, it's oh, on. yo, Rescue Rangers. Oh, Nicole yeah. Eggert. Yeah. 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 Was it Willie Ames? He was the best friend. Buddy. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I watched it as well. Yeah. Char- uh, what's his face? Scott Bayo fucked everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got in there. Good for him. Heather Locklear, Pam Anderson. She was hot. God, Pam. Where do you land on the Anna Nicole debate? What's the debate? Yeah. Do you want to fuck her all the time or just a couple times a day? <laughs> I would say all the time. All yeah, the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Really? I really liked that. Well, you don't think never, she's hot? I never got it. Really? Oh, yeah. oh my she God. She looks like a, a woman doing a woman. Well, I mean, come okay. on. Let's not go into detail on that one. <laughs> but there's different eras of Anna Nicole as well. Though. Sure, yeah. sure. I, I it, like near death gettable Anna Nicole. That's yeah, the one I want. pillhead Anna. Yeah, yeah. But it feels like it, one one false move and she's ugly. I don't know. She's right on the edge to me. Oh, that's a buffalo whore right there. She's a stripper in Ithaca. Hey, Paul. She is with Polly Shore. All right. That, guy, that guy's lived. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I see Paulie's at the store and stuff. Like, yeah. I forget that. Like, yo, I used to watch him with Encino Man, totally like, Biodome. Yeah. Oh, Biodome, right. that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I mean, come on, yeah, yeah dude, yeah, Mark, you're right. That's not worth it. Well, wait, pull that one up. The one in the black. Yeah, right there. Look at that. That's a Karen. That's a lady's gonna yell at you at at Red Robin. Yeah, but she's gonna let you do whatever you want to her. You know. Well, so does Fahim. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. very good. Thank you for the cocktail. Oh, no, but a Boulevardier. Okay, That's nice. Mix it up. That's our whiskey, Bodega Cat. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I think she was also like know. seven foot tall. Was she, she was huge. Yeah, huge she was lady. Enormous. Man, I remember she was at that last roast, and uh, I just remember flicking her flicking off Jeff Ross, and then she died like not that long. Whoa. That's got to be kind of rough to have on your conscience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I, I zinged her. Yeah. Two oh. weeks ago. 511. Did you hear what the coroner said to the chief of police when they found her body? What? I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. Coroner, that's yeah. a victimless crime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking the bodies. Yeah, it's just refuse at that point. You ever heard that old uh, Vietnam joke? Guys, two guys in the trenches, there's bullets overhead, and he goes, I'm so horny, I, I got to go out there. And he's like, don't go, you'll get shot. Goes out there, he sees like a, a Asian lady with a great body, bangs her. You know, the whole thing. Comes back. He's like, I got laid. And the guy's like, what happened? He goes, well, I, there was a dead Asian lady, and I fucked every hole. It was great. And the guy goes, what'd she look like? He goes, ah, she didn't have a head. I might have fucked it up. God damn it. <laughs> Pull that joke up. <laughs> That's an oldie we used to tell at the... Uh, it was Rita old... Rudner's, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole turn was she didn't have a head. I think I fucked it up somehow. <laughs> That's an old classic we used to tell at the, around the campfire in the 80s. Do you yeah. guys have a favorite street joke? Ooh. Yeah, I have a few. I love, there's a, one on the Gilbert Godfrey album I love where he's, uh, you know, he's doing the joke about the guy who's drunk at the bar and he, he goes, uh, ah, shit, I puked all over myself. My wife's going to kill me. Oh, that's a great joke. Yeah, yeah. You know this one? Yeah, yeah. And he, I'll tell it anyway for the no, people no. listening. Uh, and he goes, ah, uh, oh, foggy. And the guy goes, just put a $10 bill in your front pocket. Say some guy puked on you. And, you know, for the dry cleaning. He goes, that's a great idea. He goes home. His wife's like, what the fuck? He goes, some other guy puked on me. He put $10 in my front pocket, you know, just to take care of the dry cleaning. She pulls it out. He goes, it's a $20 bill. He goes, he also shit in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good yeah. street joke. What do you guys great. like? That's great. Well, I did mine already. That was my favorite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's his go-to. Yeah. That's so how he gets out of conversations with inquisitive crowd members. I'm telling you, you can find it online. I didn't make that up. I swear to God, that's an old. My dad was in Nam. <laughs> I like the two boys riding their bikes home from school, and a big van pulls up next to the boys, and a guy rolls down the window. He says, hey, boys, and he holds out a big bag of candy. And he's like, hey, boys, if you come in the van, I'll give you some of this candy. One of the kids says, shit, mister, I'll come in your mouth for the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> when people are like telling me a joke, I hit him with that, and then they usually leave, and I'm safe. There you go. Yeah. Or they stay, and you got a cool friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a good you deal. You got someone to steal what, What's the, uh, the Jewish pedophile joke? All right, kid, not so much candy. <laughs> 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 or maybe it was hey kid you want to buy some candy ah i'm off today with the street jokes <laughs> what about the classic uh two guys or three guys have to sleep in a room together because they they couldn't they were out on the road and uh i love this one mm-hmm. uh the 
the guy on the left goes, they sleep, you know, one, two, three. The guy on the left goes, man, I had a wet dream last night. And the other guy goes, I came all over the place in my sleep. And the guy in the middle goes, I had a dream I went skiing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a classic. All right, I finally got a joke. That's right on here. the Gilbert album, too. That oh, Gil- really? That Gilbert album is fucking amazing. He that- just tells street jokes for a whole album, but he does his own, you know, <laughs> little Take riffs in there. there. Yeah, it's, it's funny as hell. Different time. You couldn't do that now. No. You can't tell jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, were those his? Did he lift them? Like, he, yeah, oh, they he weren't his. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, that's weird. It's weird, but he didn't bill it as like I wrote these. Did oh, he? Okay. I mean, just it was billed as dirty jokes. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, that's how stand up was back in the day. It was just sort of like open domain or whatever. Yeah, right. Or public domain. Yeah, if I were now ever to tell one, so... I'd probably say, "Here's a street joke." Right. Yeah. You know. Well, he also worked in vaudeville. You know. Yeah. He was 140 years old when he died. <laughs> he so. was. Yeah. Wait, what were you going to say? No, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just oh. like back in the day, it was pretty much public domain jokes, kind of like, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. They would just pass them around in vaudeville. They'd yeah. Be like, Tonight I get to do the Chinese stuff, and then tomorrow y'all do the Italian stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what? It, Louis was like, we talked about this before, he did the hour a year. It was kind of like the uh, the four minute mile. Once one guy did it, you're like, oh, we can all do this. You got to kind of see a guy do it mm. or a girl. Yeah. And then uh, then you can do it. It's like the 900. Tony Hawk does a 900. No, now, like, 10-year-old do kids are doing 900. No. Yeah. So you see that, that new Baker video? No. No? Baker good. has a death wish? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very good. I saw some clips, actually, What's online. That? Skateboarding. skateboarding video. Oh. Yeah. I know nothing about this. I just world. I love skateboarding on IG. Yeah. It's like the perfect Same. medium to consume mm-hmm. because it's all pure content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what there's I mean? violence in there, there's artistry, there's agility. It's Everything. Cool. And yeah. there's like I love the ones where they show the guy fucking up, fucking yeah. up, fucking up, and then he nails it and right. he's scuffed up, he's bleeding, he's dirty. Mm-hmm. That's good for our. We need that. It's good for you. Know he health. worked his dick off on that trick when he rides away sketchy and he still posts it. Yeah, it's like when you botch a joke and you're still like, all right, well I hit my head twelve times right. on the way to this punchline, so I'm putting yeah. it out. Yeah, the Asian lady had no head. Let me take that again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's the equivalent. That's what you got to call this episode, Matt. <laughs> the Asian lady had no head. Yes. <laughs> let's do it. The headless Asian. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but skateboarding, great for that. And even kids like uh, Seinfeld said, I love a skateboarder because you go, that kid's going to be all right. Because it's very, it's reality. You got to just keep doing yeah, this horrible mm-hmm. thing over and over just for that little pleasure of riding it away. It's like yeah. a, uh, what do you call it? It's like a self-fulfilling thing. Like I did that on my own. No one asked me to do that. I did that. Yeah. Self-actualized, right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's the word. I used to lurk a lot. I, all my friends were skateboarders like when I moved to Denver and I would just lurk at Denver Park and watch them ride around and think i will never do that really yeah i tried to skate around i had like a long board and it was uh, not gravity plus mass you know what speed you, six four I have terrible balance. six four three twenty yeah not yeah. a lot of tall skateboarders i mean tony hawk is tall but other than him i six, feel five, like yeah not yeah. a lot of tall ones but right. he's in the half pipe you were probably on the street how old is tony hawk like at what age does it become a huge liability to be skateboarding you know I, what i mean i met him i went to his house Whoa. private skate park Whoa. you know he's, he's going at it when i got there i mean it's the guy's fine. amazing he's a legend he sounds like an old printer he's like he walked up he's like uh, Oof. he's all clicking and snapping his joints are popping he's like mick foley yeah oh, yeah poor mick foley dude yeah I, I I I opened for him once like what? years ago. Yeah, because yeah. I was doing that fuck that shitty funny bone, not the St. Louis funny bone, but they had another one. Uh, and Mick Foley, they're like I had the same age as Mick Foley at the time. They're like, hey, you headline the whole weekend. He just wants to do one show. Would you open it? I was like, same money. I was like, deal. Yeah. So uh, couldn't have been nicer. His show was fucking funny. He's telling good stories. Yeah. But I remember opening for him, and he goes, "Wow, that Sam's fucking dirty." No! <laughs> and, he, and, and he goes, uh, he goes, I'm going to curse one time. Yeah. I'm going to give myself one curse. And he goes, I'll let you know. Uh, you tell me when to do it. And he like pointed to some of the crowd. And it was like, what? great, you know, war story. Yeah. He's a fucking legend. Well, yeah, he's like, you're dirty. And meanwhile, he's talking about the time a guy bit his ear off in Japan. He's the <laughs> king of the death match, but he doesn't swear. But he's like weirdly wholesome. A oh, he's great, guys, yeah. I but thought wrestlers were animals. That's his daughter, I think. Whoa, hello, oh, yeah. daughter. He, uh, did did you see the clip hair. where Undertaker threw him off the fucking cage? Of course That minutes. was the worst shit I've ever seen Pull it up. ever yeah. in wrestling. Yeah. What do you mean, like, worst? That is like... I mean, it's real. He's getting oh. fucking killed. You know how like people had like the Kennedy assassination was built into their brains, or, like the Challenger <laughs> explosion? Fully yeah. off the cage is yeah. like... that. Will, that's, I'll probably see that right before I die. Pull it up. It's just so fucked up. I mean, he was, the, he was like the dude who got the shit kicked out of him. That was his gimmick. The right. fall guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And people were like, wrestling's fake. And I'm like, all right, but l- look at him walk. Yeah, yeah. That's not fake. Right. He's banged up. No, he's ruined. That seems to be a pipeline now, sort of. Uh, some wrestlers have gotten into stand up. Like, I remember Roddy Piper was coming by the oh, store yeah. for a while. Yeah. Great he guy, awesome. super nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, this is this kid. He had a tough time. Neck. They got to him in the locker room pretty early. Yeah. Yeah, Jake the Snake. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. My daddy done diddled me, <laughs> diddled my sister. <laughs> I'm a product of rape. <laughs> That was like in Beyond the Mat. It's like, this is it. Here we go. Whoa, that's a tall order. Yeah, yeah that's not feels in, right. in rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll and run then it back. It, yeah. 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 True, true. Places, guys. Let's mm-hmm. Back to one. I've yeah. never seen that. Thank you, one. Yeah. <laughs> but he was also so likable, Mick Foley. I mean, it's rare to be, you know, I feel like wrestling is the most similar to like, it's like, it is if you combine sports and stand up. Yeah. Because yeah. Yo, you're, you're literally doing. You're doing like a funny promo. Yeah. People like the guy. People love The Rock because he's funny. Also, yeah. you see them kind of like putter around until they lock into what their thing is. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love wrestling documentaries. Yeah, they have too. one on A&E. Vice does some great ones too. And there was one on uh, Stone Cold at my hotel. I was watching it because you see him in these like smaller markets when he's in Memphis and stuff and he has like stringy losing hair, you know? Yeah. And he's like, a good wrestler, but he's not who he is. He's He's not climbing the ranks. And it's not until he gets fired from, like, was it WWE SML or something? or for what he said. <laughs> from, from <laughs> so, yeah, he was going to be the next featured player. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then he, like, bicks his head, and he gets the mm-hmm. goatee in. There and we then go. he starts, then he's really mad about being fired. He found and then his people voice. are like, yes. Yeah. And there's so many parallels between wrestling and stand-up. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why I love these documentaries, because it's like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, it's not working, working. And then you're like... That Stone Cold. People right. love yeah. this. And or people love this rock thing, this baby face thing at first. It's like, what is this? And then they kind of accidentally pivot into this like great thing. Totally. You figure yeah. it out. You'll yeah. be the cable guy. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Totally. Cut the sleeves off. Right. Start selling the arenas. You gotta find your voice. And then Shane Gillis stole his whole beer drinking thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, Vince McMahon was like, Hey, uh, Stone Cold or Steve Austin, we want you to kind of do like a bad guy thing. We want you to be yourself. And he's was like, that Trump? Oh yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. He's in, he's in the Hall of Fame. Really? Trump's in the WWE Hall of Fame. Oh, it is yeah, Trump. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And look at him try and drink a beer. He's never held it in his hand. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't drink. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That you would think Trump wouldn't go along with that. You feel like he'd just be like, no, I need a win. That's true. Yeah, he's like a P.T. Barnum-esque character, though. Yeah. <laughs> there Whoa, it is. Oh, look oh, at yeah. that. Damn, that was he, awesome. You know what's cool about Stone Cold? I feel like you know, he, like he never dropped the beer. Never? Because it was such oh, a badass yeah. thing, but like to always catch him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he would like get fired if he's like, yeah. <laughs> that was me another one. That would change everything. Yeah. Old oh, Butterfingers. Uh, yeah, he was, Stone Cold was like, that was like peak WWF. He's the fucking man, dude. He was just the, probably and like the coolest. He was ever. trying to come up with his name and he couldn't figure it out. And his girlfriend the, or his wife at the time was like, uh, you should be Stone Cold. That's, that's the, like, so she offered the name. Wow. He loved the creamery. <laughs> I love, I love she didn't have a head. Yeah. <laughs> well, after he was done with her. Yeah. But all, oh yeah. But also the uh, the old days of wrestling, not old days, but like the early times. These guys were in like a back of a high school yeah. or some shitty gym, and there's like folding chairs everywhere, yeah. and there's eight people there. It's like open mics. Exactly, dude. And you work up, you get like forty bucks, then eighty bucks. Yes. And then you might get a cut of ticket sales. Yeah. You know? Rodeo guys are the same because uh-huh. they live on the road and they're chasing this like insane, dangerous dream and uh you know drugs alcohol pill all that stuff they're they're a lot like comics too uh, and by the so time you make it your body is like too rude. fucked yeah, yeah. You know, like, what's like, the best oh. case scenario for a rodeo guy like at least you can point to wwe and be like all right some of those guys something. make money dude really really yeah. like a top rodeo guy a Pull lot of them up. make their money and then they open up a uh, like a bull ranch oh, and they start producing their this own. shit uh, his machine gun. This is not going to end well. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what is... That's oh, no. a shitty piece of wood. He's sucking his dick? Yeah. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. How's that? Ooh. It's cardboard. Oh, it's a, it's a mattress. Uh, okay, yeah. never mind. All right, jeez. Mattress and lane. These men are cowards. <laughs> <laughs> These people, excuse me. That's That reminds us. Casper, guys. Yeah. Get on Casper. <laughs> it's a good... Uh, yeah, that'd be a great advertisement for Casper. <laughs> yeah. There's all this backyard wrestling. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I feel great after a big power bomb like that yeah <laughs> so i was just in uh boise it's a big mormon city yeah. and they do the uh the soaking uh you know what the soaking yeah, you just oh, hang yeah. in right you hang in you don't thrust that's a way of god Ugh. being happy with it yeah it's a loophole but the guy jumps on the bed your that's friend right. jumps on the bed that's why it's then you get the casper, friction right? 
So yes. Man. Isn't the friend going to hell then? No, because no, he's not no. fucking. He's not doing anything wrong. He's just jumping up on the up and down on the bed. Well, it's right. like Jews with the Sabbath. You get the guy, the little black kid, to turn the lights on. Right. Uh, or Catholics only having anal sex before marriage. God's hole. Mm-hmm. Yep. I remember that special. That was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God's hole. Great band. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If, I feel like you know. Just do the thing. It's all I mean, silly. How would you like to be the guy who has to jump up and I down? I would love you, to you be that the, guy. Yeah? Yeah, you, you're in the mix. You got to get like yeah. LeBron. You need a good jumper. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you're, you're almost like a cuck with a job, which yeah. is kind of nice. Yeah. Because yeah, you're, you're like right. watching and helping out. Yeah, I could jerk it while they're doing it. You could. Oh, for sure. You go, this is a tax. The jerk what jump, that's that's fun. Yeah, then yeah. you jizz on both of them. Mm -hmm. I think you'll you come out in the end. That's why I can't go you back to leaps and bounds. That is so fucking sad that that's how people fuck. A lot of those Mormons, though, they like by the time they're nineteen, they got like three kids. Oh yeah, yeah. well they're repressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like the Japanese. <laughs> yes, ethno state. <laughs> yeah. I fucked a Japanese girl. Her vagina was blurry. All right, <laughs> and she had no head. <laughs> okay. Ooh, baby. That was when you were working the rape of Nan Kang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be on that wall soon, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a frame open for me. <laughs> That's uh so what well, we got the new Patrice photo, the new Geraldo photo, and we got Bernie Mac added there. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm guessing that was after the Godfrey app you did that. That was good <laughs> shit. Oh, you changed the frames too. Nice. And the new norm it looks like too, right? Yeah. The king. The great and a new saga. These are all new photos. Oh yeah. I just did the Levity Live West Nyack this last weekend, and John Lovitz wrote all over the wall where you sign, like Bob Saget is gay. <laughs> with John Lovitz, he signed it like four different times that way, really? four different years. Every time he was there. I love the uh, there's a, a wall like that in Providence, Rhode yeah. Island, at the club Comedy Connection, mm -hmm. and it's it's just a bunch of guys' websites, and you're like, come on. What other comic is going back there like, oh, yeah. let me get that website like down wrong, and check out his site. Wrong yeah. demo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just comedians. It's in the green room. What are we doing here? Right. That's a weird... Put a QR code up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tag that up there. I'd right. be impressed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, right back in the day, remember you'd like, there'd be comics who would hand out business cards. You'd oh, like, yeah. hang by the door. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Brutal. Did you have business cards at a point? I did, I did. of course. I did, I did, did too. I Vista print, yeah. baby. It was Yo, like 2000 for wait, wait, 20 bucks. Did you pay extra to have it removed, or did you keep the Vista print on the back I of the I kept car? it right on there like I a guess. goddamn soldier. It was fuck. Those were fucking awful. Oh, yeah, but when they came in the mail, it was exciting. You're like, whoo, I'm in the I'm in the business now, baby. All it took was one person giving you a look, and you're like, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. I hate myself. I've done... I'm just trying to fucking sell tickets here. Oh, dude, so many things that would help my career. I just have that voice in my head of like, I'm going to receive a very mean text message when they find out about this, and right. I can never do it again. Yeah. I had a VHS. Of no. Set. This is back in the day. Whoa. You're like, you have open mic or energy. You don't know shit. Used to, used I gave it to wow. this guy, Rod Long, because I started in Seattle. He yeah. was like a guy doing stuff, you know? So I was doing some corporate event. And then uh, I'm like, hey, Mr. Long. I was like 18. I'm like, here's a VHS of some of my sketches and a stand-up set. And he's like, oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Like, I'll check it out. Yeah. He probably did it. No, yeah. But I mean, yeah, yeah man, just uh, throw back. Think about how unlikely VHSs. they yeah. are to click on a link. You bring mm -hmm. a fucking tape. I, I remember sending DVDs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joey yep. Diaz would send blank tapes because he just knew they would never watch them. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Damn. They mm -hmm. still book them. They yeah. loved it. That happened at, at Ha. I remember I auditioned at Ha, and uh, he just left the room, and I ate shit. He's like, great stuff. You start working hey! next week. Oh. He never booked me. But, yeah. but he wasn't in the room either. I think he was just like, I got plenty of people here. Perfect. I yeah. flew into the punchline to audition for Molly. What? Uh, yeah, like I flew in to open for Alex Cole at the punch. I know Alex. And I went on stage and saw her get up and leave the room. And this is when I had no money, you know, and I was right. just like upstairs, I was on stage and I just bombed unrepentantly. Totally. And then I got off and she came in and she said, good set. Oh. <laughs> I was like, did she start working you? No. Ah. I still never worked it. I had to That's trick the my way good in. set and then never work you? Yeah. Yeah. I had that with a Montreal audition. They were, they wanted to see this one guy and we are, the rest of us just filler. Right. And so I, we all went on and they didn't watch and they, they came in the room for the Who's one Who's the one guy? Do we get to know? I don't want to say. All right, all right. It was Ralphie May. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the funny bone. They were like, just just take a flight to Columbus. He'll watch your set. Yes. yes. Rotation. I'm like, I can't do Who that. Who was the person? Who the legendary was Stroop. Stroop. Yeah. Stroop. Stroop. But they never really, I mean, I got like a few feature weekends here and there, but they never really worked me until I was selling them out, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that's how they, that's how it was, it I was doing those B and C rooms. Those fucking... Do you ever do Wiley's over there? 
Yeah, twice. Ooh, yeah. Whoa! In, uh, in Dayton. Yeah. They got that great barbecue place right by there. They do there. have good barbecue. <laughs> that, was great, that was that Flame or something? It was called something. It was I never something, did it, uh, I mean, uh, got the job done. It was yeah. to do. It's their version of that dinosaur barbecue in Syracuse. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, you have that, you never need to come back. Another bad sign for a town. You go, what do you do here? They go, barbecue. Yeah. Dinosaur barbecue, that's all we have. Uh-huh. Like That's just a chain. Syracuse right. is rough. That was the room I remember that... At the time, my agent told me, uh, she goes, you're uh, you're banned from all funny bones. What did, you walked 20 people in Syracuse. What did you do last night? And I was like, my act. What do you, <laughs> what do you think? I'm like melting down? I'm bombing. It's, it's Syracuse. But, uh, <laughs> you and Kramer had the same result. <laughs> do you guys get walkouts still at all? I do every now and then. Rarely. Why? Because like, they probably just didn't know. How do they not know at this point? Some people just are like, oh, go see comedy. They don't. Yeah. Know. Mm-hmm. I did. I had one at the Liberty Funny Bone last time I did it. It was a religious couple, and I did some religious jokes, and they walked. But these, usually, they're usually polite about it. Yeah. They're not usually like, uh, fuck. Did I, you I had call one out? Say, or... I didn't even see it. The guy told me later. He's like, uh, yeah, the couple, older couple left because you did a you know, Catholic joke. I remember one time they, I was doing uh, the rooster tea feathers Whoa, oh i've yeah. done there i've and, done uh, there i banged the bartender <laughs> Whoa, she was headless and uh <laughs> and she didn't give me it i i'm doing a bit and as i'm walking out the woman goes uh she goes fuck you you suck and the door just shuts and i was like all right yeah. and, and i just heard a woman go i think you're doing great and that hurt worse <laughs> that's worse because that was like i was like pitied you yeah know? yeah it was terrible but uh <laughs> There's no green room at that roosters, right? You have no. to like stay outside. Yeah, yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're on the you hear about this comic uh, Erica Rhodes? What Ooh. happened at yeah, Hyde? Yeah, what yeah. was that? So I like she, Erica. So she t- went for a walk, and they just unbooked her. They just had because st- there was no green room in the club. Oh. So she just takes a walk, and then she comes back, and they're like, "You're unbooked." What? Yeah, but there's Why? a green room at that hyenas. Yeah, I know. She said, "I maybe she's there's like another room there. I don't know." Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, how do you go find her? How do you, uh, I mean, look, maybe she shouldn't have walked away, but how do you not do a show without her? Isn't right. she the headliner? They yeah. brought someone else, I guess. That's crazy. You know, there's always comics hanging around. I yeah. guess, Waiting for their but... big shot. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, just here to support, but they really just want you to not be able to do it. Yeah, they want yeah. you to have a stroke and not <laughs> yeah, be able yeah, to go yeah. up there. Maybe the headliner Yeah, just came here to check you out. They used to right. pay people back in the day, like the strip of those clubs on weekends in case a comic didn't make it. Oh, and yeah. you just like got a hangout spot. Uh-huh. Right. Well, you always hear that old, 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 Jesus, I'm drunk. You ever see those old stories of like, uh, oh, Sandler didn't show. Get up there, kid. And there's a guy with a cigar with his feet up going, you got it. Yeah. I mean, that happens at the store, but we're already paid regulars. So it's like I had a show in the belly room and then the sound guy's like, yo, man, uh, this guy, you forgot what date it was. I need you to go in there and do 10. I'm like, uh, all right. So there's a lot of scrambling like that. Yeah. But it's never like you young whippersnapper. You've got what it takes. Totally. Get on. Yeah. There. Yeah. I have I had the thing in hilarities recently because now like the special came out and like now people are more they're coming you know it's great but then there's still the people who just go to see the show and then this woman uh, I heard her say I did not sign up for this and she got up <laughs> and four dudes with backward white hats were like get the fuck out bitch <laughs> <laughs> go <laughs> how great is that that you have like people fighting for you now yeah you yeah know, telling these guys like sometimes you get shit on in the comments or whatever or like because I do this works on stuff show where I'm just like doing jokes off of a pad because I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. And some people are like, why is he holding the paper? And then people are like, yo, he's working on shit, you dumb piece of shit. Right. This is his process, stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. people are like caping for you now. Yeah, but then you can't be like, yeah, get her, boys. Right. You know, like in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. She is a bitch and she's flat as hell. <laughs> <laughs> they take it way too far. You're like, Jesus. Damn. Yeah. You're like, we're with her now. <laughs> that's like the best club hilarities. God, I, it's I, so good. That's, like, that's in my Where's top that? five, I think. Cleveland. 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 Yeah. I and I do it. it. I've never done it before. Great food. Oh, great room. Really? It's that old like, man is the best. Oh, uh, Nick. Yeah. Legendary. Love Nick. One of the best. I went there. I did a. I did a theater there last time I was there and I just like went and had dinner with them after and it was like the best fucking hang. Of course, Vitor, we're leaving. I was like, man, great meal, great hang. Vitor's like, I give the meal like a B plus. (laughs) Fuck you, Gary. Yeah. He's such a foodie. He's such a food snob. It was good food. It's good food. Really good. Really good For clubs, it's like the best. I did the theater there, the Agora, and I went to the club and they fed me. Yeah. Same here. Uh, Oh, really? And we, I I was getting drunk there. It was great. Oh, yeah. Sam and uh, Nick. And Nick. Nick, they're the two best. Sam sat me down at the end of the weekend, and he's like, "Hey, you want to uh, you want us to tell your agents how much you made?" And I was like, "Yeah, right. That's what you do." And he's oh, like, "Hold on, great. hold on. Here's your check." 
and then here's another check. Whoa. Wow. We're going to tell him about this check. What a guy. Yeah, dude. I don't know well, what you'd be saying that. Yeah, yeah we should have <laughs> cut that out for you. Nah, yeah. fuck him. Right. Yeah, we're yeah, good. Yeah, your agent doesn't yeah. listen. No, no. <laughs> Not to my voicemails. <laughs> 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 yeah, nothing. <laughs> That's the best. That's one of the best clubs, though, ever. Yeah. Great club. It, it's so rare that people actually give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like I that, yeah. where they really care and they will like watch your set. Yeah, and they'll notice every little thing and they yeah. tape the shows. Yeah. yeah, every club. Listen to that. Do this shit. I know it's it, Greeks. Greeks run the know. best clubs. Oh, it's Greek. They're Greek comedy on state. Greeks. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, so they, what is it about Greek people that just love? They run business comedy. as well. Yeah, diners. Yeah, not their country. <laughs> you know but, that building the comedy on state's in is called the Paris Building. They own that entire building. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. I good. was just there. That club is fucking it's, hot. Yeah. It's magical. Yes, it is. It's one of the great two albums I did there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how hot the... You ever done that one? Coming on State? Yeah. I've only done it once. I want to go back. Everyone wants back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I had a good time, man. It's like they just treat you right, man. That's a uh, great food. It's just a good city. It's, it's just a good... Like even Anna? Yeah. yeah. Even Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out. Like New York has great food with out of all their comedy clubs. Which is not a thing in LA, really. You know what I mean? Mm. Like the stand has great food, the cellar. True. This is something I've noticed about New York. That's only that's the it. food. That's oh. it. <laughs> so it's Caroline, all down Caroline, no, that's not. Caroline's didn't update their menu in like 20 years. I remember when we were young comics, that chicken parm. I was oh, like, oh my God. Uh, then, you, then you get older, you're like, this is fucking bad. Yeah, you feel like hell after. But yeah, two clubs have good food. Right, yeah. Just two. Everything so else I thought it was everything. Popcorn yeah. and hot dogs. Yeah, but that's good. You don't want. People Food eating spaghetti. Yeah, I don't want to wow. look. I don't want to be on stage and see someone cutting into a skirt steak. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking like it pungent. It's like you can't even yeah. talk over the sizzling. I was at a club last night and like eight pizzas came out right during your, and you're like, not only are they not paying attention because they're cutting the, the slices and they're pe peeling off a of pepperoni, but now their mouth is full of food. So I'm like, am I bombing or are you hungry? You don't want there to be ideally food in the crowd. No. You ever do the gigs where they have the prime rib dinner and then also there's a comedy show? Yes. <laughs> Those are big in the mountain time zone. Yeah. People are just coming up and getting more ground beef. Oh, yeah. And you're standing behind them. I know. And then they don't even get a show because they're just like, Oh, who got the jalapeno poppers? <laughs> Pass that over here. Then yeah. the guy's just going nuts on wings, mm -hmm. and then the show's over. Right. And you're like, you never left because you right. were too busy, you know. Stuff in their face. Going down on that ta taco salad. <laughs> yeah, those better be corporate gigs where you're making stupid money. Otherwise, like, don't fucking. No. Yeah. You want to work on shit. These were the worst gigs ever. Yeah. They paid like $200, and you yeah. had to split gas with the headliner. Yeah. <laughs> What's the yeah. best corporate you've done? Like, Ooh. where it was actually fun. A good one? A good one. It's 99, uh, 9 out of 10 bad for me. I know. I know. Same Yeah, here. I had one really good one, and that, but here's the kicker is like, it was like a, they had me at a steakhouse. It was like a night. They were like giving out, like, there was a, a scotch sampling woman, so she's like getting me fucked. Oh. Up. I kill. They bring me back next year, and the mic doesn't work. And I, it's like, I couldn't have topped the first year. It just right. Went, yeah. went perfect. I come back. The mic doesn't work. And I'm trying to I'm trying to scream my jokes and I just eat shit. Uh, and uh, and I just lost all the the legend of that show was gone. Uh, yeah. Right, was right. But it, it was wasn't a nice paycheck though, right? The second it was good, yeah. yeah. All right. It wasn't a corporate, but it was uh, there's a bunch of jam bands in Colorado and they have this big Christmas party, all these bands, and this guy was a fan. He's like, Hey, do you want to come to our Christmas party? good check you know i was like for sure i get there and he has a santa suit and he's like yeah put this on uh, uh we'll come back and get you and i'm like what and he's like oh they didn't tell you and i was like what do you mean and he's like yeah you'll be santa and people will come up and uh we give everyone a present they're gonna open it they'll sit on your lap and uh that's the show what? you kind of riff on it and i was like what so i go up there and the first person who comes up is a woman uh wearing like one of those it's like made of mesh oh yeah you can see her enormous breasts and she comes up there and they gave her a dildo. Uh -huh. And she's like, I know what to do with this. And then she fucking starts fucking herself with the dildo while she's sitting on my lap. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, was, that was like the first person who All came right. out. And that's how you met your wife. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that you thought you had a gig and they turned you into fucking Sam Sharippa from yeah. The Sopranos. <laughs> You're doing yeah. the fucking girl Santa. <laughs> I'm shy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's yeah. wild. That was good. It was a good gig. Did I did you, it. I did it the next year too. Did you do a set? No, I just sat up there and be like a riff on whatever the present was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the next year where you're like, where's that mesh lady? Right. Yeah. yeah. She she, she OD'd after the last show. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad ketamine. 
Yeah, I've done some bad. I did a corporate gig. They paid crazy money. This is a long time ago, so I needed the money. They put me in a limo to Philadelphia. It was at like the Four Seasons Ballroom. Jesus. They bought me a tuxedo. They fed me. It was for a, a pharmaceutical awards. Mm. That was the whole show. I was the host of this award show. So not only did I have to do jokes up top, but I had to do like, okay, and the uh, the winner this year goes to Orenthal for yeah. sleep apnea. These are hard to say names too. Yeah. These drugs. yeah, <laughs> you got to say OJ. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Killing the most wives. You think Ozempic's oh, gonna sweep <laughs> at the next one? It'll sweep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Viagra was up there. Xanax. Oh, no. All the all the classic. Yeah, Fentanyl yeah, yeah. kills it every year. But. Uh, it was like a three-hour gig, and I got fired by, huh? within five, <laughs> 15 minutes. That's not bad, 15 minutes. Yeah, well, they were like, be clean. I did my uh, act. I had a joke about how vibrators are like self-checkout, kind of, and this lady in the gets up, walks out, and they go, that was the CEO's wife. She's furious. Oh, I go, oh so no. So then, like, Bob from accounting had to go up there and be like, oh, so, uh. Just terrified. Yeah. You ever do a college gig? I got paid. You ever do a college gig where you forget how young these kids are? Like, they're children, you know? Yeah. Like, they're young adults, and, like, they're bringing you up, and, and they're, like, trembling. They're part of yes. the organization that brought you out there. They're like, we're so excited <laughs> to bring out this person. And then they don't know to say your name last. They're like, yeah. Sam Morell's coming out. He's fantastic. He's been on Conan. Yeah, He's yeah. He's been on. Yeah, yeah. yeah here, always... here he is. And you go, thank you, thank right. you so much. Yeah. That was unnecessary, but yeah. <laughs> I could have done a better job at this. But but they mean well. They do. They're those kids are adorable. Bill Burr came to my college when I was uh, a freshman, and I, they let me open. That's awesome. He was really cool, but it was a fucking I don't know eleven hundred seater, and eighty kids showed up. Woo! Whoa. And, and they were spread out. It was like a bad gig. That's like inspiring. And he was like, he was fucking amazing. He had like bits I'd never, I don't even know if they were in specials, but he had a bit about, uh, remember when uh, the Pistons and the Pacers had that fight? Oh, the Malice there? and the Power. Oh, he had a bit about, he's like, I fucking loved it. Ah. He's like, I loved it. He's like, because what do you say to these athletes? Fuck you, come up here. He's like, well, they came up there. Yeah. I like. I love that take on it. I know. And to have topical stuff yeah. at a college with 80 people is fun. He was, he was fucking great. Have you seen the doc on Malice in the Palace? Oh, yeah. Yes. It's so, so good. good. Yeah. So good. All those uh, untold or whatever yeah. those are, those yeah. are all killer. Yeah. Excellent. I opened for Eugene Merman at the Colorado School of Mines, which is uh, like an engineering school. I've done that school. Yeah, it's a good gig. Uh, but it was the one week of the year they have off. So they banned water bottles because the year before they came in with, uh, like vodka and the water bottles. Uh. Yeah. So people were drinking vodka. I saw them in the crowd out of plastic bags that they'd like tape to their bodies. <laughs> so I go up, I have a good time. I'm goofing with the kids. And then Eugene Merman goes up there and some kid is like, Bob's burgers. Uh, do the voice and he's like uh, I will not be doing the voice this evening <laughs> they're like do, do the voice though and he's like I will not and then it just was 45 minutes of kids screaming at him oh, him refusing do to voice? do the voice yeah See, that's that bittersweet shit where you're yeah. like hey I made a bunch of money I got a great gig but then that's all they want oh yeah it was tough on him Poor guy. Mm -hmm. He's funny. He's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him open for, I forgot to I'm open for someone at Caroline's when I was like a kid, and he was fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. He was awesome. He had Beer. that comedy festival that he ran. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. Is it still going on or no? I don't think so. Uh, he's off. But if you want to send me 40 bucks, I'll pass your tape along. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah, I'll yeah. give you my demo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Merman. I opened for Pete Holmes there. Oh, wow. Boy, did I eat shit. Yeah? Yeah. It was bad. Ooh. That was, you know. New. So, what can people you, both on YouTube? Sam Talent. Yeah, yours is already out. Mine's out. Yeah, it's on Matt and Shane's secret podcast page. That's awesome. Hell yeah! I kind of like you did with Doug Key. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger platform. Carmen Lynch. Yeah. Mine's just on my YouTube. So youtubecom slash or There you go. Yeah. I just oh. put out a travel show on my YouTube. Nice. SamTalent.com. Really? SamTalent on YouTube. Yeah, check that out. I'm proud like, of it. Definitely chop nice. yours up for clips, man. Like I am. I caption am. it. and Because honestly, it's cool that yours has so many views already, but like you're going to get even more people via clips. Yeah. yeah. You'll have one clip that pops off and does like 12 mil or something. Yeah. You'll, you'll be surprised. Yeah, I would be surprised if 12 people watched a clip. So. <laughs> nah, no. 12 like, million. It it's sure. good shit. Yeah. I like, have been. But then you just have the, your grid is just you in the same outfit. In front of the same backdrop. But, it, but, it, but it's Travel like, shows. I am. I just yeah. put it out the day. <laughs> Check I out know. my album, The Headless Asian. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> all right. But, yeah. Well, anyway, get some Bodega Cat. 
Sorry, I'm hungover. I feel like I, I dragged ass on this show. Sorry, I'm late. I feel so shitty about uh, it. You're no. good. This is the one I was stoked for. Uh, don't give me that <laughs> yeah. Then Turner's like, hey, how about you do 15 before you do the good one? I'm like, oh, okay. Thanks, Turner. <laughs> Have fun over there in your ivory castle, buddy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Out in L.A. Get and out of Sam here. is on the road. See him in uh, Timonium. I believe that's Magoobies, right? Yeah, yeah. Stand Up Live or Tempe Improv? Desert Ridge Improv. Desert Ridge Improv. Yeah, the new one. Levittown, New York. Yeah, how's that? How's Governors? Governors? It's a fight. Good. Yeah, a fight. fight. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> You'll have fun. Yeah, it's it's a cl- it's a classic. Traverse is a good good comedy town. Fort Worth, Vancouver, Arcata, 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 yeah, Northern California, Hood River. You're hitting it. Oh, where yeah, are you playing yeah. Seattle? Sorry. Where are you playing in Seattle? I don't remember. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I'm <laughs> like the, from there, the so good I'm one, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Go All to right. Sam's website. Yeah, yeah. I need to get ticket links on most of those, but hey, yeah. it's the thought well, that counts. Go to NOLA. I'll give yeah. you some good wrecks. Dude, it's my favorite city in the country. Get out of here. I've been there once a year since I was like 14. Hell yeah. My wife never proposed been. to me there. Oh, Whoa. It's the best, man. What? You never been? I've never been. Oh, boy. I'll take you. It's like, oh, it's like Montreal with black people. Hey, I love both of those. I love Montreal black and black sure. people. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think this comes out next. Yeah, so Salt Lake and then the special. But uh, yeah, that's all. See you in Salt Lake this week at a late show on Thursday. So uh, Nice. And then and then the special, and then I'm probably going to chill for a minute. But chill, you I earned pro- it. I yeah. probably won't. You're filming <laughs> yeah. at the Wilbur? <laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. It's going to be fun. It's one of the great rooms, too. I great love room. it. Yeah, no, we fun. did it last year, and it's, like I, it's always somewhere like I've kind of been. I'm like, I fucking love how intimate it is. Yeah. yeah. still got seats. It's... Uh, I'm pumped. It's one of the best. All right, Raleigh, Austin, Tucson, Phoenix, Charlottesville, El Paso, Albuquerque, Memphis, Little Rock, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Syracuse, Buffalo, Minneapolis, Madison, with Lewington. So uh, Los Angeles, we're doing that uh, Netflix fest. Are you guys doing that? I, uh, I passed I on the store. offer. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you're in like the Nokia Theater or something. No. I was at the UCB that's not actually in Hollywood at oh, like six o'clock. Jeez, sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm doing that Dr. Phil show with that. Oh, that's a oh, cool one, dude. he's blowing up. With oh that yeah, thing. God, he's so. I good. think we're having him on here. Soon. Oh yeah, oh, you got no. that right. He's so good at that. I don't even want Adam. I'm like, bring Phil and <laughs> yeah. keep Adam at the door. No, I'm just kidding. We love you, Adam, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep on keeping on, Bodega, Patreon, yeah. Special, Afghan Hound. Uh, Toad's Morale. Toad's Morale. Yeah. Buy, uh, buy Bodega Cat at bodegacatwhiskey.com, and uh, we love you guys. Watch both of their specials, Sam Thank Talent, you. Fahim Anwar, both very funny guys, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next week. Woo! Woo! Nice. Sunday's the day for my next. Doesn't look like I remember her